<laughs> All right, and we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition. We're joined a bunch of lovely ladies. Let's get into it. Let's go. Go, put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. Right. We are back. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Hit Podcast After Hours Edition. We're joined with a bunch of little ladies. So real quick announcement before we get into the show. Rumble.com slash Fresh Fit. This is part three of the three-peat, man. This is the third podcast of the day, man. So you guys better like this goddamn video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And check us out over there on Rumble.com slash Fresh Fit. So when the day comes and we get canceled, you'll know where to find us. Also, FreshFit.locals.com uh, for pre-stream uh, content. Kickouts, double dates, double dates, everything in between. Uh, behind the scenes lifestyle shit. Go check us out over there, freshfit.locals.com. Also get the merch guys, freshfitpodcast.com. We just, I think we fixed it. Yes. So it should be up within the next 24 hours or so. Uh, so you guys can go ahead and go crossed. ahead and get all the t shirts, all right, that you guys have come to learn and love. And hoodies of all. Yes. Um, and then also, guys, go check our other YouTube channel. It's called Fresh Fit Clips. On there, we post uh, six to seven clips per day, plus 10 shorts. And we got another YouTube channel called More Fresh Fit Clips. So if you guys can't get the long form content, go ahead and check out the bite size form. Over there on the clip channels, then uh fresh your vlog. And if you guys want to see lifestyle videos behind the scenes and vlogs as well, go check it out on the vlog channel. And as well, join the CEO network. Great value, giving value, awesome guests. Go check it out. All right. And uh well, CEO now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you, um, and then guys, check me out on uh Fed Reacts as you guys know. I break down criminal cases on there. So if you like true crime, something a little bit different, go check me out over there. The last um video I just did, I just streamed it yesterday, was uh the Trump indictment. As you guys know, he got federally indicted by the FBI. Recently, wrong. so I went into the uh, uh, it's not I wish it was wrong, man, but it's very bad. But anyway, I go into the charges, what he's looking at and, uh, you know, if he could beat the case. And I pretty much give my prediction on the only way that he'll be able to beat this Fed case. So go check it out over there on Fed Reacts. And also don't forget to go ahead. And get, yes, yes, yes. It's on Spotify and Apple Podcasts as well. Mo, you can say it, you know, it's OK. Uh, but yeah, guys, it's on Spotify and uh, Apple Podcasts. So if whether you want to listen to it on audio or visual, we got you. Also, go get my book, Why Women Deserve Less, Amazon bestseller right there. It's only about 86 pages because, well, you know, of course, women deserve less. So stop sipping. Go ahead and get your copy of the book. She's like, hell no. Audible, <laughs> on Audible, Kindle, all versions. It's out there, guys. So go check it out uh, on Amazon. And Chris. Oh. And Chris. And uh, ladies, DM me Nancy Poxon on IG. Uh, make sure if you're flying in from some other country, state, or whatever, uh, just make sure you hit me up ahead of time, more or less. Um, and other than that, shout out to the girls on the panel, and let's have a great show. Woo! All right. So ladies on the panel, if you don't mind, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, dating status, and if you want to, of course, your body count. And we're going to start right here. Hi, hey. everyone. <laughs> well, he did quite a bit of you. Stupid. Hey, hey y'all. No, we'll so start right here. Sorry. Hey, y'all. Go ahead. Hi, everyone. My name is Nandi. I am from Philly. How old are you? 30. Right. And what do you do for it? I manage a raw vegan restaurant. Ooh. You're vegan? Yeah, nice. I'm vegan, yes. Team okay. vegan. Not the cat. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You're a vegan? Yeah. Awesome. Oh and my god, vegan, which Four is actually vegan. awesome. Would you last had meat? <laughs> um, that 20, doesn't matter. 2015. Wow. Okay, girl, you committed, period. <laughs> okay, and dating status? I'm single. Single? Mm-hmm. And you're vegan? I'm yeah. L. Vegan. Right, wait, 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 wait. She's 30? Yeah. <laughs> I thought she was like 21. No, seriously, right? yeah. my age. Well, black don't, black, black don't crack. Black don't crack. So I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good job. That's uh, awesome. And what's your highest education level completed? Highest, com highest completed is high school. Okay, cool. Highest high school. Get it. What about you? Hello, my name is Leilani. I'm 18 years old, and I'm in college right now. And outside of college, I'm a new real estate agent, and I'm originally from Texas. And what yeah. part? El Paso. Oh shit! The border. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, and then your highest education level completed is high school, I'm guessing, and you're in college right now. You said. Yes. And single. Yeah, single. All right, cool. Still, damn. It's on me. She only yeah. eighteen. Hey, What's happening, y'all? 
Hello. <laughs> Good guys. What's up? I'm Chi Chi. I'm 25. <laughs> and I'm a staff accountant. I know it don't look like that. But I'm a staff accountant. I love money. Like, like I like to count it up. You know, <laughs> let them know what's going on in the business world. Okay. Um, where are you from? I'm from Miami, Florida. Never saw snow in my life. And you said you're a staff accountant. For sure. Are you like, so do you have your CPA? No, I have to go to grad school, but I start in fall. Okay. Uh, you have your bachelor's degree, I'm assuming? Of course. Okay. Where'd you get it from? I got it from Bethune Cookman. Yeah. Oh, shit. From where? <laughs> DCU. Okay. <laughs> they don't know. Okay. They don't know. It's in it Orlando. Is. Okay. It's in Daytona, but okay. Okay. All right. Well. Oh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> I got something for the side. Yeah, yeah, we're side, we're side we're side we're okay. El Chris Elmo. Yeah. No, okay. Hey, 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 <laughs> and then what's your relationship status? I never had a boyfriend before. I see why. Okay. <gasps> no, I'm just Not masculine. It's all good. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Have you had a girlfriend? <laughs> before? Yeah, yeah, Let's do the introductions first. We're gonna talk do you have a girlfriend? Okay. Talk about no, I'm oh, okay. straight. Straight. So single. All right. What about you? My name is Cynthia. I have uh, 22 years old. Um, my first language is uh, French. Where are you from? Are you from France or Canada or where? Uh, Montreal in Canada. Montreal. Okay. Okay. Um, and double. what do you do for work? Uh, in what I work? Yeah. What yes. do you do for work? Um, I'm a psychiatric nurse. Okay. Nurse? nurse? Pediatric yeah. nurse? Children? Uh, no. Psychiatric. Wait, nurse? Psychiatric. 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 Nice. Yes. Okay. Um, do you, are you just visiting Miami? Uh, yes, just okay. for travel. Okay. Um, she belongs to the streets. Do you have, um, what's your highest education completed? Masters? Mm, in uh, Quebec, it's not the same, so uh, it's like a uh, college. Okay. Uh, how, how long were you in college then? How many years? Uh, three years. <laughs> three years, Nice, okay. almost done. Nice. Okay. And then what's your relationship status? Uh, single. All right. Cool. She said a single. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Uh, what about you? Me? Well, I'm the old lady of the group. Wow. No way. Uh, totally. I'm <laughs> 42. And well, be... well, let's start. What, what's your name? Empress Misty or Misty. Okay. Uh, and you're 42, you said? Yes. Where are you from? A little bit of everywhere, but I'm currently from Dallas, Texas. That's where I flew in from this morning. Okay. Uh, what do you do for work? And dominatrix. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, <laughs> full time job. <laughs> full time job. Nice. Awesome. I maintain a dungeon, a twenty two hundred square foot dungeon, and have maybe five slaves. There's one. It's Juneteenth. It's Juneteenth. It's Juneteenth. <laughs> it's Juneteenth. <laughs> it's Juneteenth. <laughs> I just heard the word. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, wait. Submissive. Wait. We'll go with yeah, that. guys. Yeah, guys. Say. She means slaves from a sexual I mean, standpoint. Yeah. We don't have to make yeah. it all about race. Yeah, it's yeah. not a racial Are thing you at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, you knew it's Misty, right? Yes. My real name is Misty. My stage name is Misty. I'm not big on fake names. Pokemon badges, dungeons. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. um, I get a fresh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so you're a professional fun. dominatrix. How long have you been doing that? Uh, very. I do lifestyle and professional. So I've been in the uh, in the arena since I was 17. Damn, nice. that's like 30 years. God yes. Damn. <laughs> over 20 like 20 so, okay how long okay how long have you been doing it like full time then like in it like this is what i do permanently five years five years but, like the last two years i've gotten much more serious about it okay. although i'm really shitty with my social media so it doesn't reflect it question can you define what a slave is because i feel people misunderstand okay. that phrase a lot. so we could also i'll use the word submissive right mm -hmm. from now on so uh, no, it's okay. You can say slave. Don't and, worry about it. and in this context, it's people who allow me, who choose my leadership and or as a professional side of it, they pay me to at least for an hour in their life be submissive. Mm -hmm. I actually often get a lot of alphas who actually aren't submissive. In, in this regard, they give me a script because they're buying my time okay. and my skills. So like I've had a few, and this is the difference between a fetish and a and like a dom sub situation. So those males are just looking for a place to stop thinking for a minute. So they have a fetish that just requires someone to be more of a dominant role. I, I usually get a natural. script for those. Yeah. And then I have people who want to be submissive and they're like, Empress, please, 
just let me zone out. And, I, and they give me whatever their unique and interesting activities are, as long as it's within my wheelhouse, like okay. what I'm willing to do. Okay. And, uh, you know, I take it from there. Um, it's just people who want to take a break from their life. Professionally speaking, in like my primary relationship, uh, we have kids and like a whole family house. And then I have this other life over here in a whole another building. He's, he's cool with it? Well, he met me in it. That's oh. <laughs> how it all started. When your customers? Uh, sort of, yeah. I guess technically he started out as a customer. And, you know, technically all of my relationships have come from work at some point. Because okay. I am a very busy human with a full-fledged family and a full-fledged business and a half or so with all of this. Mm. So I don't really do, like, if someone meets me on the street, I'm I'm like I'm fucking busy. <laughs> okay, it's funny because um, go ahead. Uh, I actually met someone in your same uh, occupation, and her clients are like CEOs of companies that yeah. just want to release and let go. And I'm like, right. this is a CEO of a Fortune 500 company coming to somebody to be submissive, which is crazy. Most their whole life, their is, entire life is being dominant and being right, a man. Right, right. So, it's it's not a it's not submission is not necessarily about not having someone else run your whole life it's about for people who are in power it's about having that moment and you gotta remember all humans are dominant and submissive to varying degrees and fortunately the high level alphas are small in number could you imagine if everybody was a high level alpha that never wanted to like everybody fighting like fit here is kind of the alpha of this whole thing Mm -hmm. But he has brought in a crew that's willing to accept his leadership. But y'all aren't necessarily submissive, but you see him as a good boss man. And like, it's not got the uh, same concept that I work through, but it's still there's the leadership and the followership. I mean, you can break it all down to leadership and followership. And just like in the military, you've got people who love being a lieutenant because anything above them, it keeps going. And then anybody, but they still get to boss someone around. So... So don't plane? worry, we'll, we'll have some more. Uh, he's trying to say land a plane. Um, oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. So land a plane. Uh, what's your highest education level completed? Maybe dungeon school or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I quit in eleventh grade because I couldn't stand the retardedness of high school, okay. and okay. I started making six figure income, so I never ended up getting my GED. From the okay. R word, you can't That's say it. All That's right, and then um, and then you said you're in a relationship. How long have you been with your guy? Let's see. I think I met him when I was twenty six. Wow. <laughs> so I'm 42. <laughs> so a minute. So almost 20 years. Yeah. Like 16 years. Of That's awesome. Mistaken. That's awesome. Right. I look up to you. Cool. Are you guys like married? Or are you guys just together? Long story short, we did that, and sometimes people get wedding cake syndrome. So we, I'm now divorced, but it's still, he's still the most important relationship in my life. We all live together, and our children are number one focus. So y'all got married, got divorced, back together. Yeah. Okay. All right. And and it works. Okay. All right. Whatever works. Um, what about you? Whatever works. Hola, ¿cómo está? Bien, bien. Bien. <laughs> Soy Jimena. Sí. Uh, I'm 19 years old. I do social media for women. Uh, and... Social media like what? Like Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. Okay. Uh, what kind of content do you make? Lip singing videos. I'm like recognized as the gas station girl because okay. I dance in a gas station. <laughs> okay. yeah. Um, and where are you originally from? Mexico. Okay. And then do you go to the gym? I do go to the gym all the time. <laughs> all right. You're going to say feel like fit. <laughs> fit. <laughs> all right. And then highest education level completed is high school. High Are you school. in college or no? I'm about to be. Okay. And then uh, relationship status? Singles fuck. No. <laughs> okay. All right. What about you? And um, me, my name is Kayla. I'm from uh, Montreal. Uh, it's why my English is not perfect. Or I'm copy a and paste. French, uh, French girl. I'm seeing, I'm seeing double here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, how old are you? Uh, I have 22 years old. Okay. And you're from Montreal as well. Uh, what do you do for work? Uh, same thing of my sister. I'm a psychiatric nurse. Okay. All right. Uh, and then same thing, school, three years? Uh, yes, at the same CGF in the same time. Zip. Okay. Yes. And then what's your relationship status? Single too? Single too. Okay. Yo, Chad said right to what is better. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the same thing. All right. What about you? Me. My name. Hey, is... y'all. 
Hey, y'all. <laughs> My name is Dutch the Duchess. Welcome back. Hey, I miss y'all a lot. It's almost been a year, honestly. Honestly. Wow. But um, I am from Oklahoma City originally. I live here in Miami. I am a traveling private tattoo artist, um, full-blown artist, designer, um, social media influencer, um, anything dealing with art, music, fashion, that is me. I get paid to do what I love. Okay. And what what was the other question? Uh, how old are you? I am 27 years young. Okay. Nice. And uh, you said you're a traveling tattoo artist. What's your highest education level completed? Um, I graduated high school. Okay. And then relationship status? I am single All right. and building. Cool. <laughs> uh, what about you? Hi, I'm Skyla. Uh, welcome back. Welcome Thanks. back. <laughs> uh, how old are you? I'm 19. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Broward County. Okay. Born and raised here. I am a student at FAU studying criminal justice. Okay. I want to be in the crime scene unit. All right. Nice. nice. Fun. And I'm single. Okay. Um, and high is completed, obviously, is high school. You're in college now mm -hmm. and single. All right, cool. What about you? Hey, y'all. Okay. My name is Sin Robinson. I am 24. Period. I'm from Chicago. Wait, hold on. What was your first name? I'm sorry. Sin Robinson. Sin, okay. And I'm from Chicago. I'm 24. Um, I model. I'm trying to start. I have a podcast, but it's it ain't doing well, you know, but it's what's getting it, there. What's it called? Sinful Talk. Oh, so nice. yeah, and then I'm an entrepreneur. entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what I mean. And then um, I'm in medical school right now. Wait, Come, medical? yeah. Nice. Wait, you're in med, you're in med school? You said? I'm in medical school. Yes. Um, I'm a so little you have nervous. Your, so you have your bachelor's degree then? No, How I'm getting you? certification. Yes. So you're not in med school then? Whatever yeah. you want to call it. She has to take a test. Yeah, but yeah. you're not going to be. Stay bored. You can't go to med school unless you okay, have a bachelor's well, degree. I don't know. You can get your license. She ain't going to pass. <laughs> I'm not going to pass. No, my mom's a nurse. <laughs> when I pass, I'm going to smack it in your face. Okay. okay. <laughs> don't, don't, um, don't discredit me. I'm nervous. <laughs> don't be. Uh, I am. This is my first time. And then what's your relationship status? Um, Confused. Okay. Oh, complicated. So we'll say single. No, I'm confused. <laughs> Keep it like that. Why are you All confused? Because right. I got like a little situation, but I don't want to be with him, but I want to be with him. Mm -hmm. And I want to do what I want to do, but he won't let me. But I still do what I want to do. So I'm confused. Go, Queen. He probably watch. <laughs> Oh, he's definitely watching. He's watching while wow. eating some noodles. Oh, right. <laughs> All right, you want to go ahead first and hit some of these chats real fast? Let's do it. Wyatt in building says, ladies, what's the most vile thing you've seen a friend slash roommate do behind their boyfriend's back? Ooh, that's a good one. So a friend of a friend or your friend personally, you've seen something shady to their boyfriend behind their back. What, what about me? Oh, What is it? So we'll start, we'll start with you. Maybe seeing to go to the club. Oh, my friend, mm -hmm. don't judge me, y'all. This is no judge long. My friend and her boyfriend was having a few over me because they both. Okay, I used to fuck my friend. She's a girl, but we became best friends after that because the dating part didn't work. And so it was a whole little situation going on with their little orgy they had. She fucked his friend. And he she fu he fucked her friend. So, like, they had an orgy. And he was like, okay, since you fucked my friend, I want to fuck your friend. I'm not coming off her, which was me. So, like, they used to argue and fight over me. And then, like, I get, I came over there, and she ate my coochie in the bathroom. He got mad. Okay. Shit. Wait, we don't ask him? Huh? I mean, like, what were we asking for? She asked to eat it. I said, okay. And we went in the bathroom. <laughs> Wait. Okay. But she okay. did it to make him mad, though. So, like, I guess he was... Because, like, basically, he wanted to eat it with her, so hmm. <laughs> okay. I guess that's retaliation behind his back. I get it. Jeez, technically, not because he was in the same house, he was just oh, behind the bathroom door. Oh, so, you're savage, for sure. I'm not though, but like, because we did this before him, so it's like, you think it's gonna stop because y'all dating? Absolutely not, right? Like, this, this really is so you make your own rules. Got it. All right, <laughs> what about you? Um, I really can't think of one, I've never really seen my friends act i've never really seen like my friends um like do stuff like i don't i personally just haven't seen it but you gotta know something somebody in school 
friends of friends, going to Kendall and back, going to Miami and back. Something's happening. <laughs> uh, Broward yeah. County. Okay. <laughs> um, I would say like the most like obvious thing I would see is just them dancing on someone at the club. No knowing way. That, knowing that they have a boyfriend. Really? And I just yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so they'll go to a club, that's on a, a guy. And they, just, they, just kinda, they just kind of let it happen, just go home like it's nothing. And I'm like, okay, you do you. I saw nothing. All right. <laughs> what about you? Honestly, haven't got too close with people to where I met their boyfriends. So the only boyfriends that I would know is my sister's boyfriends. And they ain't do nothing behind they back that I've seen. So that's all I got to say. No, but the question is, what did the girls do that have boyfriends? I, I, I couldn't even think of nothing, honestly. Nothing? I, I don't be in nobody's business. I mind my business and drink water. Okay. And go to the gym <laughs> six days a week. I promise you. I don't. I can't even think of it. I'm thinking back when I was in Oklahoma, too, and I'm like, and I, I promise you, I'm not even capping right now. I. <laughs> you sound like Kevin Gates a little bit. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got a relaxed voice because it's It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> all right. What about you, Miss Montreal? Any, sorry. Uh, I don't have understand what uh, it's real. So the question is, one of your friends, uh, basically, have they ever had a moment where they did something bad behind their boyfriend's back? Like they did something and the boyfriend didn't know at all what happened. Like maybe cheat, <laughs> go to a party they're not supposed to go to, you know. And um, my boyfriend, if uh, what... Uh... What you have do it's strange before. If your friend, like let's say your your sister or your yes. your, your uh, family, like she has a boyfriend and she goes to the club behind his back or like you know cheat on him behind his back. Do you know anybody that did that? Ah uh, no. 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 Okay. What about you? My ex girlfriend. She cheated on her boyfriend at the party. That's like your ex girlfriend. My ex best 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 girlfriend. Okay. Yeah. How did it happen? She, we went to that party together, and she obviously had a boyfriend. And she was like, hey, like, there's so many cute guys in here. And I was like, I, I was single, so, like, I was, like, able to say, yeah, right, like, there was. <laughs> then I remind, remind her, like, hey, you have a boyfriend. Remember, like, no cheating, like, on him. She got really fucked up and go to, the, like, upstairs and fuck that guy. Damn. Blim, Did she blim on, on alcohol, bro. I don't know. Sometimes like alcohol changes you. No, it, it definitely does. It definitely Spirits. does. It makes you do stupid things like like you don't want to. And the next day you wake up and you're like, what did I just do? Hey man, that's a red flag right there. If it goes drunk, <laughs> if it goes drunk, stay away. Yeah. What about you? I don't think I've had any friends that I've Come on, seen you're do evil, vile things, <laughs> but obviously I work with married people all the time. But they're not women. So you're saying that these guys are married. They come to you for like a release. Frequently. They come to, well, not always. Not all domination means an orgasm. Hmm. Okay. Mm. But they are probably doing things that if their wife knew about it, they'd be fairly upset. All right. Yeah. Okay. Do you understand a question or no? No, my friends is a angels? good uh, girlfriend. Oh, angels. Never. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nah. no not one friend is bad no when uh, my friend is in a couple is they really good <laughs> stop the cap <laughs> okay what are y'all doing here in miami then what what are you guys doing here in miami uh, vacation vacation and what happens on vacation <laughs> Uh, we uh, do some uh, meeting. Uh, Sexy time in Greek. Wee wee. Wee wee. And the wee wee. I really want to know if they share a boyfriend ever. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's the question. You ever share a boyfriend before? Together? No. <laughs> no, never. Or okay. share a man? No. No. I come from the world of poly, so. Okay. okay. So what about just, you? Oh God. I have ADHD. So what's the question? Again? Yo, got the <laughs> question <laughs> is: Do you know a girl that has cheated or did something behind her boyfriend's back that was like, oh wow, that's crazy that she? Did yeah, that. I had a cousin. That counts. Hell yeah! Tell yep. us. Oh my God. Well, she, well, God. She wasn't my roommate, but she lived across the hall, mm -hmm. and we had a friend. Right? She was our friend platonic, and she was sleeping with her behind my back. 
Oh, you weren't invited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's what it sounds like. Absolutely. But are you are you straight? I, they did not tell me, so I had to find out. Like that's disrespectful. No, that's not. But are you straight though? Absolutely. So why do you care? I care because she says she's straight and she's capping. So how you mad? You're straight. <laughs> she's cap- she my cousin and she capping. Like, tell the truth. Like, what you hiding that from me for? I had to, like, find out the hard way through my roommates. You sound like you want to be there. Okay, cool. Uh, right. <laughs> well, what about you? Um, I know I've heard of someone that had multiple boyfriends. Mm-hmm. So I guess that that's it. And she would, like lie and the each boyfriend would yeah. think you know they're exclusive that's not that's cool pretty much but it's not my friend okay i don't correlate with them at all but it's just a friend of a friend of a friend so it's, <laughs> <laughs> so it's not you no so it's not me okay. no no <laughs> just asking for the chat mm. all right what about you um it's not vile but this is a friend of a friend and she's married and we all went to the club together and she just like every other guy she knew, like every other guy that was in the club. And she had them all like buy her drinks and everything. She was drunk as hell. <laughs> she was, yeah. We already know. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. I got a question for the girls. What's up? Um, in the social media era, are women more selective now or let's say 50 years prior? We'll start here with Miss Philadelphia. Do you think women are more selective now in the social media era or 50, 60 years ago? I would say that they're more selective now. Why? Um, because with social media, like you have access to like a lot of different things, a lot of different people with dating apps, social media. So there's a bigger pool and maybe like some women think like, okay, that they're um that like the guy they're looking for maybe is not like on their level so like they think like there's access to like a maybe like guys that they wouldn't have had access to like 50 years prior okay okay do you think women are more selective now in the social media era or 50 years prior so maybe your grandmother yeah i think they're more selective now primarily because social media has exposed everyone to new looks and especially for even men as well i think like social media exposes you to a lot more attractive people and then it's like oh you look at social media rather than in real life Hmm. do you think um you think men are more selective as well now yeah most like i've even heard experiences from older men saying like Oh, back then it was much harder to find a beautiful woman, and now I can just go on Instagram and boom, they're right there. And you can also meet people. But how successful are they in actually meeting these women? You think? <laughs> Realistically uh, speaking. I mean. Is that how they meet it you? Depends. Yeah. Through social me- social media? No. Okay. But I have met some people through online, so I think it does open a new, you know world you think those men that you met online have the same amount of options that you have online yeah more (laughs) you think more interesting okay Mm -hmm. i don't know i think it depends okay (laughs) what about you do you think women are more selective now or 50 years ago well after covid everybody a homebody so you got to do everything virtually. I just made a tender the other day. No, don't <laughs> bro, do it. Bro, I was against online don't dating it, until I couldn't find a dude in person. Don't like, be that desperate. So are you saying I women just are want more a partnership. selective? Don't do it. Don't do it. To answer the question, do you think women are more selective now or 50 years Yeah, ago? now. They a homebody. That was my answer. So they are more selective because they're homebodies. They're homebodies. So they have to do it virtually. Okay. Hmm. All right. What about you? Do you think women are more selective now or 50 years ago? Uh, I'm very selective, but I think uh, no. Uh, She's not more selective now. You don't think women are more selective now? No. Why do you say that? If I see my friends and other people, uh, I don't think uh, people are selective. What makes you say that? Uh, I think uh, some people uh, 
don't want to are single and they choose uh, the first uh, person that approached them yes you think so yes do you select the first person that approaches you no me i have a partner in my life i don't have a gotcha, i don't need a boyfriend <laughs> okay partner partner for life it's my twin Oh, that's, that's what she meant. I but... love it. I'll look at her. Okay. <laughs> but you think it. other women pick the first guy that comes up to them? Yes, but some of my friends. They pick I the don't first think guy? Uh, my friend uh, was in love with uh, all boys uh, define, but uh, it's mean, my opinion. Do you mean to just date that night? What? Do you mean for that night specifically? He means for like boyfriend mm. for boyfriend yeah mm. so you think women are less selective now yes okay she's also from uh it might be different in canada mm, maybe all right what about you do you think women are more <laughs> selective now in the social media age or 50 years prior they're more selective now because they think they have more options okay but a lot of the people a lot of people today on the dating scene are short term. They don't see it on short, they, they see life in a short term. So it's like, oh, I can keep going. The grass is greener concept. Mm -hmm. okay. And real relationships take real work. I mean, there's a reason that I've been through these cycles and we're not always perfect, but we do emotional work. We do communication. We work things out. So it takes work. And I see a lot of people <clears throat> that, have not even been shown that they can do certain types of work so you think women are more selective now because of perception yeah All well right. training social training okay can you explain the social training what do you mean specifically well if you look at our culture right now everybody thinks there's 30 options and yeah you might have 30 options to go out on a single date or a few dates but there's also like you said everybody do you mean like a lot of and women more or women you... than men okay men that have more options always have more options because they've got that type of swagger the majority of men do not because they don't well frankly they probably have given up on dealing with most american women <laughs> okay so money so you think, you think you think more women are selective because of being socially trained to think that they have more options yeah well yeah or to think short term everyone thinks short term i mean the six second video is popular for a reason okay all right what about you? Do you uh, do you think women are more selective now in the social media era or 50 years prior? They are definitely more selective now because the people I am around with, they all look like for money and fame. Just because they have that or whatever, like you got like a base of fans, they think they deserve like better instead of looking for their like feelings, feelings and what's the name, commitment in a relationship or like in a man. So they want... A guy that has money and fame. Basically, like girls nowadays, they that's what they want. Like okay. I'm better, so like I deserve better. And what do they what do they bring to the table to ask for that? Well, I'm just saying like people that I've been around with, that's how they act instead yeah, of like but I'm asking like if they want money and fame from a guy, what do they bring well, in return? They basically like they have that, so they want that. Oh, they have money and fame. The girls. Yeah, that, that I've around. been with. Yeah. So they think that they deserve that because they have yeah. it. Instead okay. of looking for like fire for like commitment, <clears throat> love, but like you... married, like day to marry, you know what I mean? Okay. It's a match. Well, and <laughs> as you're pointing out, they think that that's better. Yeah. Which that may it's not be really better. Not. Like, yeah, you gotta know your worth, but Absolutely. you gotta also like think about, okay. you know, like for like commitment. All right. Uh, what about you? Do you think women are more selective now or 50 years prior? It's uh, hard to uh, answer at this question because uh, the, the girls are more diffi difficult mm -hmm. with uh, the boys uh, because uh, she changed a lot of, of boys, but um, the girls have more uh, rela relation. It's hard to uh, answer with that. Uh, girls more try with uh, a lot of boys, mm -hmm. but um, they don't choose just one. Oh, they choose multiple? Yes, it's um, it's difficult to uh, answer at this question. The girls are 
not difficult for have uh, many uh, boys in her life, mm. but um, she changed because she are not uh, satisfied. 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 Yes. <laughs> she, she has multiple options, and she can choose. I from think that guys. was a very long-winded way of saying women are pickier now. Yeah. That's. I mean, that's how I interpret it. Yes. And the women are should... pickier now. Okay. Maybe. So you disagree with your sister? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Language barriers. Okay. All right. Oh, what cute. about uh, What about you? Um. Of course. Yes. Um. We have more options. Men and women have more options. I can't lie. I dated someone that lived in New Jersey. So, and I was living out here. I mean, why trip over? No, that's cool. But do you think women are more selective now or before? Now, because we, we can see who's in New Jersey. <laughs> we can see easy. who's in Africa. We can see who's in Dubai. I mean, I need to see who out there, but um, we can see who's in Texas. You know, yeah. we ain't got to just wait around we can go stalk somebody page i don't do that but okay oh yeah sure you don't <laughs> i know all right what about you do you think uh women are more selective now or 50 years prior definitely think now because just like what uh she said that social media opens up like our eyes to different you know things you know we see couples do things and we're like oh like i want some of that like i want this i want that we have standards so that puts us in a place where you know we're like we want a certain guy like this we want a certain guy like that you know, we don't want someone, we don't want to put our all into somebody just to get hurt in the end. So it's like, we're very selective on who, like, we put our all to, basically. All right. What about you? Do you think women are more selective now or before? Um, I think they're more, more selective now because I think social media is brainwashing all of us. Okay. Because we get yep, on social yep. media and see everybody all fake ass happy because people are going to the internet and act like they so happy, but they getting cheated on. Mm. And then it's like niggas are going to the internet and portray like they got so much money. They're doing so well in life because nobody going to put how fucked up their life is on the internet. So it's like, we be like, oh, we want him. But we really don't. Then we pick this nigga and he ain't shit. Mm -hmm. Cat. Okay. Is that from experience? No, this is real life. Okay. Um, so it looks like pretty much everyone at the table thinks women are more selective now uh than before. Uh well, let me ask this. Do you think women were better? How do I say this? Women were more wife material back then or now? We'll set, back right then back because then. let why? me tell you why we not like that no more why for one men think that you supposed to come home now my my boo he look different but men think you supposed to cook fuck the shit out of them take care of the kids and work they want you to do all this and that and go 50 50 with them right but does that make sense? You think I'm going to come home and fuck you and I just worked a 12-hour shift? <laughs> you think I want to come fuck you after I have to cook and clean after these kids? I don't. And then you don't pay bills, but you want me to act like your grandma used to do. And you don't pay bills like your granddaddy. Ooh. So, no, we're not falling for that shit no more. <laughs> it's, you know, it's 50-50. Go, Queen. And I'm not going to go to work. And I'm not going to do all the extra shit. Like, that's the problem now. Y'all don't act like our grandfathers, but we want us to be so catering. And so, like, I can't fuck you if I'm... I have to be masculine all day. Like, okay. so, you, so you'd in, be uh, cool with that if okay, you'd be cool right. with that if. Well, let her let her finish her thought. Oh no! Like we'll I'm you. all about the fifty fifty, but we got to be rational. Like you want it's just it's just too much, and okay. then you want to cheat too and be fifty so, fifty. So um, <laughs> so basically, for you, you don't you think women were better, were more wife material. Prior. Back in the day, yeah, because they were stupid. We ain't stupid no because more. Because they were stupid. Okay. I mean, <laughs> okay. I mean, all right. But are they stupid if they're getting their bills paid and everything? Like yeah, but like grandma? you got 12 kids, you pay my bills. I don't, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, women back then, all they okay. would really do is just be housewives. All they would do is just cook yes. and clean and then that's it. All right, well, I'm going to go to you now. You, you finish your thought, right? Yes, sir. Okay, Um, for you. uh, Do you think women were more wife and material back in the day or now? I mean, it's kind of like 50-50. Women back then were, were wife material because all men would think about that back then because they were always housewives. You know, they, they would okay. just stay home. They would cook and clean. Same thing. But even that, even nowadays, women still do cooking, the cooking and the cleaning. It, but now they can go to work. They can help. You think they're still doing it to the same level that they did 50 years prior, though? Mm -hmm. I, I think it's to some extent, yes. But there's like there's like different things that women okay, do let me Let me define what I mean when I say wifey material. I mean as in less promiscuous, which means less bodies. 
less prior boyfriends, less prior relationships, more dutiful uh, in the household, more concerned with running the house versus you know running a career, etc. This is what men typically look for, uh, and they look for these things to label a girl as wifey material. So what I'm asking you is, do you think women are better wife? Well, do you think women are better wife material now or prior 50 years? Oh, back then, then. Back then. Yeah. Okay. We have something. I have a question. Yeah. Why well, do so? You think that if okay, I understand you want a wife a hoe, but like men have passed too, so you wouldn't wife somebody who has all of those qualities, but you wouldn't wife her because she had multiple, a couple, like ten boyfriends, whatever you want to say. You wouldn't wife her because of that. Okay. Um. I'm speaking generally here. I mean, we uh -huh. can get into that later on in the show. But in general, if I lined up 100 men <laughs> and I asked them what qualifies as wife material for you, uh -huh. most of them, probably 90% or better, are going to say a woman that has a lower notch count. Mm -hmm. That's just what most men want when it comes to a woman that they're going to take seriously and they define as wife material. I disagree. <laughs> I mean, with all the respect, what you agree with and disagree with is irrelevant because I'm speaking <laughs> facts. This is what most men think. So you don't have to disagree with reality. I might disagree with one plus one is two, it's gonna come to but me. it doesn't change the fact that it's still two, correct? I got you. It's going to come to me. It's going to come. Okay. Well, Irrelevant. I mean, what I said is a fact. How much like, you want to bet? It's, it's a fact. Most men, if you're going to ask them what defines a wifey material woman to you, her past is absolutely going to be at the top. What if it's trial and error? Okay. Oh. Um, <laughs> so going back to, anyway, uh, so you said back, you think back then? Mm -hmm. Women, uh, women were more white material. Yeah. Why do you say that? It's just because not. I think because women actually had like a like a stand. Women had more of a standard to keep up with themselves. Like because they know because because men knew back then that women really didn't do much. So they seem more of a <coughs> wifey material because they knew that they that they didn't really do much. So they didn't have really much to worry about. Like oh, this like she's not sleeping around. She's not. She's she doesn't have a sexual past. She doesn't have anything like that. Okay. That's just what I think. Yeah. Yeah. And again, ladies, uh, we're using the wife material standpoint from the male perspective, not the woman's perspective. Because mm -hmm. quite okay. frankly, no one gives a fuck what a woman thinks is wife material because you're not men are the ones that make you wives. <laughs> right? So it's based off no. what the man wants. They don't even make Excuse wives. Me? That's actually Say facts. it again. That's facts. Incredible. Stupid. Uh so for you, uh, <laughs> do you think women were wife material more back then or no? And why do you think so? Um, women that was wife material back then was wife material back then because that was back then. The The standard for right now in the world that we are in right now is a little different. So the wife material, that standard in today is a little bit different. But I say, of course, the wife material today is, you know, better than a wife material back then because uh, a wifey can actually handle and help you maintain a full blown business, depending on what type of woman she is. I don't know, you know, everybody woman. So I would say the the standards of women, wifey material nowadays, depending on what type of man you are. I'm speaking in general. Yeah, um, most men. Do you want me to go through the list again? No, you don't have to. I mean, then I would say I would have to say now because now is now. I can't. I you don't think, know. So you think women are. There's there's more prevalent wife material women now than before. You think? Be honest. Look at your friends. I don't have a lot of them, so yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah. Then. <laughs> I mean, it's a very simple question, ladies. I know that this it might make you uncomfortable, right? Because you have to like do some critical thinking. But what I'm asking is, if I lined up 100 women in 2023 versus 100 women in 1953, what's going to have a higher percentage of suitable candidates for marriage? It's very simple. Back then. Yeah. So 1953 versus 2023. Yeah. 100 girls. How many of them are wife material in 2023 versus 1953? Uh, I, let's say 1953. I wasn't back then, so I wouldn't really too much know. But I mean, it well, was Well, look at your grandmother. Was, I, I, I didn't honestly get to meet one of them or my grandfather, so I wouldn't honestly know. But I know she was probably a great woman to him. Or a, a friend's grandparents or something. Or or an older person in general. Um. Okay. <laughs> we can what, see what's it. your final answer? Is it old, back then or now? Um, given the standard back, I just gave Back you? then because we got only fans. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good point. Okay. Yeah, the audience is getting uh, annoyed. Well, you guys got to understand this is a, a tough question. Um, What about you? What do you think? Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's now. 
Yeah. You think there's more women that are wife material now? Yes. Why do you think that? Uh, just because uh, uh, all girls want a car and uh, in uh, like uh, in uh, in fifty women in the uh, fifty. What? 15 women uh, don't have car and uh, <laughs> it's the same of the boys and now uh, all the girls want all the same thing of uh, the boys. Oh, so you're saying that nowadays women want the same thing as, as men, so they're more capable of being wifey? Yes, but uh, what I said is uh, a girl now mm-hmm. uh, want to have the same thing of a boy and uh, before. Uh, Does that make her girls, a better wife, though? That she the, wants the same thing as a man? Yes. And before, the girls and the men uh, can uh, share the thing. And now it's uh, uh, for the girl the same thing of the boys. Do you think men want the same thing in a woman that a woman wants in a man? Uh, I just uh, I just say uh, all boys and all girls uh, have to have a car and before it's part it's a share what the fuck so <laughs> bro i'm gonna tell have you, you ever had a dream Chris, Chris, like, man you're saying that because they can get the same thing as men they're better partners yes okay that's your opinion all right cool what about you back then for sure what, what? why because women like before they used to only worry about cooking cleaning having the dinner they're ready for their man mm-hmm. now they just worry about making money selling like their bodies uh this and that like some way like you know like make money which like men don't like that but okay back then yeah makes sense what about you what's your opinion on, on this well in the 1950s females tried harder men were also able to bring home a single paycheck and take care of that side. So the men were able to be good hunters and the women were excellent gatherers. Simply put. So you think back then is your final answer? Yes. But any female now that figures out that we're supposed to be in a symbiotic relationship with men will make an excellent wife and stop trying to be a man too. Okay. So you would say a higher percentage of women understood that back then versus now? Yes. Okay. Did you, did you learn that from your experience in your career or just by watching one of our shows? I've been psychoanalyzing people for a long time. And uh, I pull everything I've learned over the years in every interaction. I look at it from a very basic primal perspective. And yes, a woman can do all the things technically a man can do, mm-hmm. but we're biologically different so that we can be in a symbiotic relationship together, which means that we're not supposed to be doing all the same roles. Got it. Okay. All right. What about you? Do you think uh, men, or sorry, women were better wife material back then or now? Uh, back then. Okay. Because I think... So you disagree with your sister? Yes. <laughs> why Why do you say back then? Uh, because now uh, we we work uh, same same time uh, uh, than the uh, boys. Um, I think what she means is like it's not good that they do want the same things. Yeah. So she argued women are better wives now because they want the same things. She's saying it's because they want the same things. They're not. Is that correct? I have to work uh, a lot, so I think I don't uh, uh, need a man to. To pay my thing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, same shit. So basically, they have the same view, but different perspectives. Okay. All right, what about you? <laughs> well, in 1953, these dudes wasn't lying. <laughs> now in 2023, they oh lying. God. They, God. they know if they come to the girl and say, yo, I just want one thing, she going to deny him. So it's going to mess up his ego. Okay. And it's going to humble him. But back then, they knew they needed a family. Mm, a period. wife and kids but now dudes just with you for the physical I okay. disagree mm. um, <laughs> uh, the question was do you I think... disagree yes 1953 yes do you even know what the question was yes <laughs> Hey, I know I got, I remember this one. Okay. okay, what was the question? It was 1953, 2023. <laughs> were they better? I mean, were they more wife material? In 1953, okay. I'll give it to you because back then they wasn't lying. She's they basically saying in... back then. No, but I, I understand that. But what is the question fully? 
So what was the question and I asked? 20... And then what is your answer? You didn't get nothing I said. No, because you didn't make sense. Can you tell? Because you literally said that men are liars. What yes, does that they have to are. do with my question? Because in 2023, that's why we not linked up. I didn't up ask no why way. women aren't wife material. I asked you, are they or are they not? They're not in 2023 because these dudes are lying. I just gave you like the reason why. I could have gave you the answer straight up. But I just wanted to give you the reason why so you could know. You feel me? Yeah, but it's kind of irrelevant. You, oh, and you okay. led with that. So you're it's saying straight. there were more wife material women back in the day than now? Absolutely. Okay. But you're... Your reasoning, you're saying, is because men lie now. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Uh, they don't what stand about you? In I think uh, women were more wife material in the past. Why do you say that? Because traditional dating was more uh, common in America. Now it's more modern. So that's why. Okay. What about you? What do you think? I think that they were more wife material back then. Okay. So now I have a question. Uh, well, why do you say that? Um, I say it because um, back then, like, they were taught that, like, the community, the woman and their family would tell them, okay, like, this is what you do to get a man. This is how you treat your husband. Mm -hmm. But now, like, we really don't have that. Like, okay. our parents, my grandmother, my mom didn't, like, tell me, like, this is what you do. You should get married. This is what you do to be a wife. This is what you do to the house. Like, we're really not being taught that anymore. Mm -hmm. okay. Absolutely not. So, so you're admitting that you're not wife material? Am I admitting that? Yeah. No, I'm not admitting that. <laughs> They're not husband <laughs> material. What? Okay. They're not husband material anymore. So how can we be wife material okay. if there's no one left? <laughs> okay. Um, so I guess they're very interesting. So a lot of you ladies basically said that women have higher standards now than before yet you guys also admitted that women were better women and better wives prior right but they have mm -hmm. more standards now so explain this to me why is it that men have to work a lot harder for women that are lower quality what is lower quality because women Priority. see that on the internet hold on so, get out of your feelings for two seconds you guys literally just admitted that women are lower quality than they were before when it uh, comes to being a wife by your own admission okay so I'm asking you, but you said that women have higher standards now. It's the men that... Yet, can you please be quiet for two seconds? Yeah, for sure. All right. So you guys literally admitted that women have higher standards now, yet they, they, they demand more, but they don't bring the same qualities 50 years prior. So why do men have to work significantly harder for women that are lower quality? We can start here and then work our way around. Why? I don't yeah. think that they should. You don't think they should? No. Interesting. Okay. What about you? <laughs> um, I think that um I'll have to think about it. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll come back to you. Got him. What about yeah? First of all, <laughs> I want to apologize for cutting you off because I'm really passionate about this stuff. All right. Well, so... what's the question again though? For real. <laughs> no, be... no, for real. Stupid. If you leave in my no. If you leave in my mind. It's gotta be a troll. Just one more time. I must apologize, so. You're not gonna say it? I asked the first question I said, are women more selective now or before? Pretty much all of you, except for one, admitted that women are more selective now, which means they have higher standards. Then I asked, were women better wives 50 years prior or now? Pretty much all of you admitted that women were better. Yeah, they were for wife material back then. So then my last question just now is, why do men have to work harder for women that are lower quality wives? What are, what is lower quality for a woman? I don't understand. Uh, like your, yourself? Yourself, well. Me? If women are more promiscuous I now, disagree. women are more promiscuous now than ever before. Mm -hmm. They care about career more than family. They care more about themselves than getting a man. They think men need to be super high standards, but they don't necessarily bring the same thing back in return. So why should men work super hard for women that are lower quality in 2023? It's... That's my question. Why you got your hand up? Well, let her answer you. first. You, don't worry, we'll get to you. Well, these dudes are lying, like I said. <laughs> so they act like they want to be their husband, but they don't. They just want their physical. 
So the woman has to become masculine. You understand what I'm saying? That doesn't answer the question. What's the question again, for real? All right, look. You're going to skip me? Don't skip me. I don't think, I don't know if you're here to troll or you think this is some no, kind of game. No, no, this is my this personality, is seriously. Well, I, I, I'm really sorry that that's your personality, for real. He's asking why should men... But I think she's here to troll. I don't even think that she's here to take the what show seriously the fuck, or whatever. Bro. No, I disagree. He's, he's saying, why should men work harder for low quality women? So why they should a shouldn't. rich man work for a woman okay. who work a nine to five? But I don't know what a low quality woman That's is. That's basically what okay. saying. Either you have ADHD or you're just trolling. But or you're, you're just low IQ. It's one of them. No, you, high. No, you're well, definitely well, not I'm going to be in the FBI. What do you mean? What? Please don't. <laughs> okay, so you answered the question. You said they shouldn't work harder, right? <laughs> Fucking embarrassment, bro. Okay. We can skip me since Thank I'm God. such an embarrassment. <laughs> no, I mean you're just making yourself look crazy. I mean. No, I love myself. That was the question. That wasn't what I said. Yeah, it, was, it, wasn't. it doesn't matter. Is what I'm saying. All right, chat. What do y'all want, bro? You got, I'll let the chat go ahead and decide this shit, man. What? Yo, yo, it doesn't chat. matter, though. Yo, yo, if you guys want me to kick this girl out, yeah. give a one in the chat. If you guys want her to stay, two. It's up to y'all. Already? Honestly. Yeah, um, yeah. But I'll let, I'll let the chat pick it. Yeah. I couldn't even get to the deep stuff. <laughs> I mean, you can't handle that shit, man. I yeah. can drink to that. All right. Yeah, All right. it's overwhelming ones. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, she got to get out. All right. Yeah. Bye. Just right. uh, have a good night. Make it quick. Exit left. Be just, safe. just make it fast, please. No problem. To the left. To the left. Yeah. Every Yeah. Just. In the All right, coffee. ladies, just uh, yeah, yeah. escort her out. All right. Um. Yeah. Incredible. Cool. Yep. So yeah, let's get that chair out the way. Let's uh fix the over? seating arrangement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Angie, move the mic out the way. Or actually, no, I'll stay there with with this. Okay. You can just put the mic down. Got it. You can put it no, down on the floor. On the floor? Oh, yeah, yeah. Put it on the floor. Yeah. Oh, we didn't uh, get no room to move. Incredible. Right. Incredible. I called that. Yo, Fuck. that was a terrible troll, by the way. It was funny, but then it wasn't funny after. Yeah. That was fast. Yeah, just... Yo, Chad, in, in my defense, can I explain like for like two no. seconds? No. No, nigga. No, this nigga. is an L all around, bro. <laughs> Listen, L all around. I watch Instagrams. I don't know how these girls talk. I see profile pictures. I read DMs, and that's about it, chat. So I don't no, know what the fuck. That's L, nigga. How's L, man? That's L, bro. You know why. <laughs> you know why, nigga. I know why? Yeah. Okay. Um, so um, anyway. Goddamn. Okay. Uh, we'll move on to you. Um, oh, <laughs> you're next. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> So, why do men have to work harder for women that are lower quality? Uh, but what is lower quality for you? Well, I said it earlier. Men typically, want, in a wife and material girl, they want a girl that's not going to be a whore, not going to have a long track record, not have a history, be submissive, follow his lead, these types of things. Be a good girlfriend. That's what men typically look for. So, imagine a girl... That your guy friends will never want to be with, lower quality. Uh, I don't know. Oh, you don't know any uh, girls like that? No. <laughs> what the fuck is going on today, bro? <laughs> Yo, I was trying to explain it, but what is I going on? I think we're getting into language barrier. So. Yo. Okay. All right, we gonna move on. Yeah. What about you? Why should men work harder for women that are lower quality in 2023? They should. You but then they, again, they I also said? see a lot of guys that are just trying to make their families work and their married wives aren't taking care of them or they can't talk to them. Okay. So you're saying they shouldn't? No. What should That's they do? Kinda, well, they're already doing it, sadly, because really we need to change the standard that women believe in mm -hmm. like i said it's a roles thing and there's been huge movements to make women think that so i don't care if the man is a housewife or the woman is a housewife honestly if you have three or four people all cohabitating and being in a loving unit mm -hmm. you have plenty of income brews you have plenty of household people and you need someone to run the cave and you need someone to do the hunting do you think it works though if the Man is the housewife. If 
the dynamic is correct and there's communication and understanding, yeah, because if you have a dominant personality female and, uh, I mean, some chicks are bad housewives, but they love to go out and earn money. And some dudes you would the, be a better think, mom than, their, than, the, you than a woman. Those, do you think those women deserve a man, though? As long as they find the right dynamic. But re, can they find the right, can they find that dynamic is if, my question. Communication. It is possible. Is it probable? No, because we don't have that. We don't have the teaching in our culture for it to exist. You have it's an accident when it happens. I think it just does not going to work. Period. Women that are these women that you're describing that like are super dominant and want to go out there and chase money, they're not going to sit there and have a housewife husband. Well, they no. well, that's they're because just not. that's training. That's because they have been taught to accept that. Well, if this is the role you want to have, then you need to accept that. You need a house husband. And I've seen a few. You can't train attraction. Can't, can't train attraction. I get the biological attraction. But it, it it would be rare. Honestly, it would be rare. Because you have your basic biology. Men generally want to be the gather, the hunter. That mm. is a true statement. And that's fine. And like even with my submissive males. Even with my primary. When we go to his events, I step back so I can just watch him work and do his thing that he's good at. And I try to make him look good because that makes me look good when he looks good. Um, yeah, but I would argue most women don't want to have to program themselves to think about it and train themselves to do it. I they want to be, they wanna just be of... with a guy who gets it, is a leader. They fall in line. It's natural. It's not programmed. It's not, oh, let me turn this shit off. You know, like the oh, hyper masculine women that you're describing, like they're rare. Period. Well, no, no, they exist. It's just that they they're do. not going to take a housewife husband. Sounds good in theory, it's, but it doesn't work. It's where the whole poly thing comes in. I don't believe humans are truly monogamous creatures. I believe it's a trained trait. I mean, because you, you, like I said earlier, you have alpha males. You have men that are less domineering, but I mean, they need to be dominant somewhere. Um, and you have females with varying degrees of dominance and submission. I mean. And they, they kind of go like this. And there's a handful of females up here. It's not the common. And there's a handful of men at the bottom. But what I'm arguing is that the women at the top that are the most dominating, domineering, as you would say, they will not tolerate a submissive man is what I'm trying to say in any type of serious relationship. They might tolerate him being a bitch like here, and like kind of the dudes that you have within a dominatrix situation. You're tolerating them for some type of monetary compensation. But you yeah, but my aren't primary, really aroused or my attracted primary to them. relationship is completely submissive. I mean, that proves but my point even his, further. But in, that, that proves my point even further. But in his realm, he is dominant, and he is like where he, what he's good at doing. When he's at work, he is not submissive, and he can work well. That doesn't so refute he my still argument. Has his strength. That no, doesn't refute my argument. I didn't. I'm saying that there. It's, <laughs> so like, okay, hang on. I'm losing. <laughs> yes. Unless we start changing how it works culturally, but biologically, generally men want to run the household and generally females want men to run a household, but at the same time they're being told they should also run the household. And it's like, no, you have to give and take. You completely shifted what the discussion was about. Oh, okay. Well, draw me back in. It was simply, I, I was simply saying that women at the top that are the most domineering are not going to tolerate a man that's a pussy. Because you're saying, oh, yeah, you can have a woman that's like a boss with a house husband. Yeah, I it don't typically consider, doesn't last. I don't consider most submissive men necessarily pussies, actually. That's quite literally what they are, is they're pussies. No. If your wife, if, you, if your wife is a dominant in the relationship, you are by definition a pussy. Because your woman now wears the pants, she's the penis, you are by default the vagina. I guess if you X, want to strip it that down. This, this, I mean, look, I get it. Like, you're in a very strange relationship where you're kind of trying to justify your situation, but your situation is weird. I mean, with all due respect. My situation is very unique. Yeah, so it's... It, it, most women would not want to be in that predicament. And I would... Not to be an asshole, but I would argue that if you were 22, you would probably leave the guy that you're with. But since you're 42, you don't have the same options as a sexual marketplace. When I was 22, so I didn't... No, I do have... The, I could totally have other options, but I choose not to because I do have responsibilities and a family to take care of. And well, what I'm saying is at, if those responsibilities weren't there and if you were younger, you would not be with the man that you're with now is my argument. Yeah, be honest. <laughs> would you really? 
would I really? Well, let's see. If I didn't have kids, didn't understand everything, I was a lot more ignorant. I don't know. If I understood, if I knew him the way I know him now, I would be with him. But you wouldn't know. Yeah, you wouldn't even care to know him at that point. He doesn't come off as submissive when you walk up to him. But you would find out later on and be like, oh, this dude's Mm. off. I'm good. Like he came in hot, left like cold. yeah, like bro, like it, it. The cold hard reality is like women just are super cutthroat when it comes to male selection. I mean, yeah. it, like that's just how it goes. Like women reject guys for the dumbest shit. They mm-hmm. don't even care a lot of times to get to know the guy. Like, oh, you're really sweet after the fact. If he doesn't even meet a certain requirement, you, you're not gonna give him a chance. I mean, this is simple. How many ladies want to leave their man in, in a relationship here? Raise your hand. No, leave. 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 I don't. Leave. I don't want to be a leader. leader. No. No. Yeah. yeah. So, no, I mean, I can't listen to a man who submits to me. Like, I can't take you serious because you sitting here doing everything I say, and I'm paying the bills. It just, it doesn't work like that. No. But if, if if you're if you if your man is you know masculine, he wants you to be feminine. So of course, like, yeah. I have no problem with that. At the All end right. of the day, so before we get um too con- too off track here, uh, yeah. So since women, um, why do men have to work harder for women that are lower quality? Well, I feel like they shouldn't be working for someone who's not bringing anything to the table. That's basically it. <laughs> Do you think that's most women today? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shit. I got lost there. Okay. What You got lost with what? Just, I don't know. No, she answered, she answered it pretty well. I think so. <laughs> okay. okay. Cool. So you said you think they shouldn't. All right. What What do you think they should do then? It, I mean, I don't know. I was raised different. So I feel like in my, like, war, it's like 50-50. Like, you're bringing something to me. I'm like, you know, bring something to you. It's like, you pay the dinner, I give the tip. Would you really want to do that, though? Yeah. That's how I was raised. In a Mexican culture? Mexican culture. The woman doesn't pay anything in a Mexican culture. No, they do, actually. They do? Yeah, we do. I'm Mexico. I'm from Mexico. I'm from Guadalajara, Jalisco. I used Bless to go you. on dates. <laughs> I used to go on dates, and I was because I don't like men paying for me in the first date or like. Okay, that's what you personally don't like, but in traditional Hispanic culture, especially, the man pays for everything. The woman just shows up and she's pretty. Like it's very traditional. The man pays and leads everything. It really depends, like, where we're talking about, because in Mexico it's different. My mom didn't pay for it, like. Did it, my mom pay for like some parts too? Okay. Did she pay for? What do you mean? Your because mom paid women, for like Mexican women, want to show that we're dependent. We're dependent, in, like in any way, like we can take care of ourselves. We need a man, so that's why I feel like. No, I that's okay, like but that's girls. not traditional though. Traditional is the man pays. I mean, yeah, especially we in Mexico. Like, yeah. <laughs> I come from Mexico. That's, yeah. that's, that's hold on, hold on, hold on. You come from Mexico, but you might not necessarily stick to Mexican culture. Mexican women, a lot of the times, expect the man to pay. It's, and this is in all Latino cultures. In all Latin cultures, the man is. That's where does machismo come from? I mean, my Masculine mom didn't. Man. My mom pay for like her stuff. Okay, but that's so not I traditional, did. though. Then we're talking about like different like. That's you, but race. that's not. Yeah. traditional so maybe your family's different because uh from what i know most mexican girls that i know personally don't <laughs> yeah right for anything yeah they might take care of them but i could be i mean that's my culture in general like yeah. you go out with a colombian a mexican whatever venezuelan on a date oh yeah can you cover the tip she go look at you like you're crazy <laughs> i mean it's because i was raised like poor like really poor and my mom had to work her ass off to like take care of herself so that that's why i was like raised that way okay that, that's cool but honestly speaking most women are not going to sit there and be like, oh, yeah, I'll cover the, the tip, man. Like, oh, yeah. they're going to be like, no, like, I'm I'm not doing that. Or they'll look at the guy crazy if they do that. Maybe you might offer, which is nice, but most girls, they'll be like, no, what the fuck? All right. What about you? Um, I think the same thing, the same thing up there. <laughs> okay. That's if, so funny. Yo, man. No, no, if you want, speak uh, French and then can you translate? Bro, they both can't speak English, bro. Oh, uh, my sister just uh, said that I she think thinks the same, same thing, thing of, of air. air. Oh, not so not to my her. sister of air. Oh, okay, of her. Mm-hmm. What did what did she say? <laughs> she <laughs> said uh, she the just... girls have to pay the same thing of 
a boy and um, she uh, the boys don't have to uh, have more uh, okay. she did say that thank yeah. you all right yes. what about you <laughs> only simps be doing stuff like that for oh, low quality words some words some words no we're off we can get off twitch get off twitch uh facebook twitter go ahead say what you want to say so yeah why do men why should men have to work harder for women that are lower quality um they shouldn't um i mean only someone only a high i guess a high quality man who's really desperate is only doing that because why is a high quality man working hard for a low quality woman but what if low quality women flood the marketplace and they don't got That's no DNA. Y'all low quality women better be dropping y'all prices. I don't know. Interesting. Okay. What about you? They shouldn't work so hard for a low quality woman. Um, it's just because women have so much standards. And I don't I don't want to say that having standards makes a woman low quality. I mean, yeah, she is looking for a certain type of guy, but that also puts the man in a certain in a certain perspective. It's like, okay, she like girls want this like and if she doesn't want that then i'm not you know her type no it's fine to have standards but my question is at what point do your state do you no longer qualify for your standards i would say like if like if a guy doesn't qualify for the for the woman's standards no the other way around oh the the girl doesn't we never look at it the other way around the the girl doesn't qualify for the man's standards no the woman doesn't qualify for the standards that she has of men Oh, see, um, like that, that's a concept okay. that women don't even think about. Like, no, because I, I, I kind of, I because so I many girls demand so much of men, but do women qualify for the men that they demand? Not really, no. Have you guys ever even thought about that? Like, damn, do bitches yeah. even deserve the guys that they think they yeah. want? Well, definitely, deserve? definitely yeah. not. Definitely not. There's some girls that don't, that really don't deserve. But how think... often do we tell women, do you deserve the man that you demand? You're a queen. Get your king. Realistically <laughs> speaking, like, how often do we tell women, you don't deserve that guy? Not that very often. Needs to I'm, I'm more business. Often. They gonna Realistically find out. speaking. <laughs> oh, sorry, continue on. <laughs> oh, no, that was, that, was it. that was it. Okay. All right, what about you? I know you had something that you want to say before. Oh, I don't think men should work for low quality, want low quality women because why are you doing that? If you can find you a beautiful queen who has as much as you do. And I think women who's low quality... When you say has as much as he does, what do you mean by that? Like, okay, for instance, if this man has a business, he not to treat you right. He, like, he can cook. He doesn't mind spoiling his woman. He doesn't mind catering to her. It's 50-50 with him. Y'all going on dates. He loving you. He bringing you to cookouts. Y'all can get married, you know, in the future. And then you have a woman who don't even want to cook, who don't want to clean, who want to run the streets, who's disrespectful, who's not feminine. You shouldn't be working for her because she bringing your value down, boo. That's what I said. But, but I think if... these women think they high quality because they coochie good. <laughs> um, but yeah, but what do you do when like the market is filled with girls that are lower quality? Just stay single. God going to send you a woman. Mm. God's going <laughs> to send you a woman? <laughs> yes. What else you supposed to do? Look in the streets high and low? No, because you're just going to keep running into the same bitches. It's just too much. Period. So you think they shouldn't get with these girls then? <laughs> no, just stay single. Oh, God, I got your back. Start retraining. Okay. How are you going to train somebody who never... Like these? Like she said, we our parents didn't teach us that. I can say my mama didn't teach me how to cook. I learned that by myself. She didn't teach me how to cook, like keep a man. So I had to learn that as well. So it's like... Now in this generation, we really just don't want to keep a man. We just want a nigga with money to spend on us. I would so, like a man. Right. That's 50 of fifty percent of us. But really, our parents never taught us that shit because they don't even know how to keep a man. Do you, I mean, kind of in the situation you have, like you kind of have a guy, but you do what you want anyway. Um, is it maybe because the guy doesn't meet all your qualifications? That's exactly why. Because I feel like... Merch. Let me tell you why. Okay, so I just feel like if... One day I become homeless, and if I always gotta figure shit out by myself, you won't. It's not stressful. even saying like you gotta give me a place to lay, but like if it's I'm, stressful, it's stressful. Like yeah. you around me just to fuck on me, I don't fucking need you. I can fuck myself. I got three toys. Mm. You, know, you, so, you, know, you know what I realize? A lot of women, for example, have the burden of being the independent leader because they don't I'm have a man that. that met the standards. Whereas you know what? I can relax a little bit. 
he'll take the burden. Mm -hmm. I could be more feminine. So I, I get yeah. And these niggas want to be sassy. Like they want to be the one. And like you ask a nigga, when are you gonna take me on a date? When are you gonna take me on a date? What? Like I don't know. <laughs> these niggas are sassy. Well, that's and fair. Um. Yeah. So what is the issue with your guy that makes you not want to commit to him fully? Because for one, he's very one sided. Like he's a cheater. He's a liar. But then he want to control what the fuck I do. I, and he's a hater. He be mentally hating on me. Oh. Like I get further than him in life because I have some shit going for myself. Okay. And he just be at the bottom and he be like, don't do it. Do you mean more than feel? him? Huh? Yeah, I do. There you go. OK. Makes sense. I mean, bro, I mean, how many episodes you do you have to have? You where can't you, miss. You, <laughs> don't fucking miss on this show. Man. Don't miss what? No, no. No, don't worry about it. We knew that. It's an inside just, joke. Just, yeah, Before you've answered, yeah. We know women better than they know themselves, man. All right. Uh, all right. So I'm going to hit some of these chats real quick. Oh, this uh, is funny. Uh, ladies, why do you think men are shamed for not wanting to settle down in their sexual prime while women are encouraged to live their best life or find themselves in their sexual prime years? So we can, what do you guys, what do you ladies think about that? So why are men shamed, right? Well, for one, let me ask this question because I guarantee they might. When do you think a man's sexual prime is? Shoot. Age um, wise, I age think wise. when they're like 32. 32. What mm -hmm. do you think? Maybe like their late 20s. <laughs> like, like 17, 18. <laughs> okay. The man's, the, the man's best years. Like Chris, you, I know you ain't brought, man. You brought them yeah. here. Hey, bro. <laughs> you brought, yeah. man. I seen photos. That's all I see. The age of Come the on, woman. <laughs> So, I don't understand. Okay. What the men prefer? No. A young woman? Or? No, when the men are most yes. sexually. Active. Yeah. Ah, oh, for the sex. <laughs> what a freaky. What if you find? <laughs> oh, oh the, bro, the, the question is what age is a man's best years? Like, for mm -hmm. example, for 20, a his prime of. Well, for I guess for having fun, enjoying life, the best years of, of a man. When is a man the best most years attractive? For the men. When is a man most attractive to women? Oh, what age? Oh, okay. Um, 40. 40? 40. Okay, 40. All right. What about you? 17 to like 21, 22. <laughs> what about you? Probably 29 to 45. What about Success, you? Basically, their success range, wherever mm -hmm. that starts. Well, give me a tighter range than that. That's like damn near 15 years. Damn. 35 <laughs> to 45. All right, what about you? 28. All right. 35 to 45? All right. Late 30s. Late 30s. Okay. Uh, ladies, I'll keep it simple. It's typically in their mid-30s to their 40s. Mm -hmm. Well, mid-30s -thir to the 50s, typically, depending on the individual. K keep the question up, Chris. Um, right? So um, so why are men, right? Because men, by the time they're 35, women tell them, oh, why aren't you settling down or whatever, right? Because uh, they're in their prime. But women, right, at 19, because a woman's prime, let's be honest here, is about 19 to 24, if a girl gets married at that age, they're going to look at her like, what are you doing? They tell mm -hmm. a girl to live her best life in that age. So what he's asking here is, uh, why are men shamed for not wanting to settle down when they're in their prime, but women are not, but women are encouraged to live their best life or find themselves in their sexual prime? I don't think they're shamed. I don't, I, well, you shouldn't be shamed. You should definitely live your life because you are human. From the male should, or female perspective? From the male perspective, like they should live like, they're human. They should live their life. They should experience because if you're young and you're getting together, nine times out of ten, y'all will be done before because y'all want to experience sex with other people. And, you know, so I don't think y'all should be shamed, obviously. It's just how society puts them. It's like, oh, like women are supposed to be putting themselves up at a, such a young age because their prime of their life is such is at a younger age than men. But men shouldn't be put down for that because... You know they're doing this. They're doing the exact same thing. So Sex I don't is one of the greatest creation ever made. So, uh, right, you you had something? Mm -mm. No, never mind. Oh. I, think, <laughs> I don't think it's a okay. fair statement. It's Cause it, cause it's, it's not. It's it not. is what is happening, but I don't agree with it. And also, you're back to women are basically spending their best birthing years. When they could be building their family and then be free in their forties to she have a I don't want to have no baby right now. I get it. In our current <laughs> our current society doesn't really allow for that. I didn't have well, you're twenty seven, right? Yeah. Okay. But do you think you're gonna have more value now or five years down the road? I'll be way more smarter and prepared five years down the road. I I'm... But do you think a man's gonna want that? Yeah. Do you think we left over women? Yeah. Wow. You will. 
He like, won't. The answer is he won't. You're thinking wrong up there. Yeah, you're he thinking this is but, crazy. Uh, and this is kind of where no it, it kind of comes in with like females don't understand what men really want. They think, oh, yeah, I'm going to be more mature and I'm going to understand myself and I have more I money can. and success. And well, it's more like, mature in the family family values, like me wanting to be a mother. Like, I'm not mature in that aspect. Like, I would be scared as hell if I was to even have anything in my stomach right now. <laughs> so, yeah. So why would a guy pick you when he can go get a girl that's... Right. 21 if he if he don't pick me then he wasn't meant for me so i don't know what to say about that but can you agree that you would want to find a man that wants you right now if you could um i would say yes but then again so what if that man wants to have a kid with you right now i'm not prepared to have a kid so right you're gonna now you're say no and just ruin it <laughs> well i mean we're not are we married did he did we get married because if we married then yeah this is a man of your dreams Michael B. Jordan, okay, I'll bust that thing open. You're right. <laughs> You're so, right. <laughs> so a guy that's in the top 0.001%, for him you would do it, but Holy. for the average guy. Now, realistically speaking, how many women do you think Michael B. Jordan could get? A lot. Shit, a lot, but his heart broken right now. Let me so do you think you qualify for that man? Is it going to pay you? Pay? You said pay me? Is it going to pick you or L- Lori Harvey? I <laughs> mean... <laughs> I mean, it's what Lori Harvey I mean. going so This is right now. This is right now. Perfect example of what I mean when I say women are delusional. No mm-hmm. offense. I don't mean to use you as an example, but a lot of women think the way that you do. Where it's like, I'm not going to change my mindset or how I view the world. I'm going to do things on my timeline, even though I don't have that timeline. And I'm not going to change unless a top one, 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 one percent guy comes along and makes me change my mind. But I can't rush into having a kid or just rush into a relationship because if it's not my time, then it's just not my time. God probably wants how me much to... more time you think you got? Here's Look, God, God is the only one that can tell me that. Yeah. I don't know. God is the only one that can tell me that. Okay, like I believe in speaking to God, <laughs> but when's the last time God has spoken to you? <laughs> uh, yesterday. What do you mean? What did he say to you? <laughs> he told me I needed to stay focused. Miss Cleo, call me now. Oh, no. <laughs> how how'd you hear it? Um, through prayer in my prayer closet, and so what can, I was reading. Do you believe God can talk to you through people? Of course. So we're telling you right now what it is. Yeah, saying I, I need to go find a man and get married. Nigga, we just told you twenty times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, let me calm down. Okay, so maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Bruh. Okay. He out there. He outside right now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, that kind of I comes back to that God. old joke where it's like, you're standing on the rock, the water's rising, and a boat comes by, and you say, no, God will save me. Yeah. Then a helicopter comes, et cetera, and then you're dead, and then God's like, well, I sent you a boat and a fucking helicopter. Yep. <laughs> the signs are here. No, I mean, it's just, go ahead, you ask me. <laughs> so, look, what I can say was an experience. Some women just don't be ready to settle down. Like, I can say that I found a man like some years ago he was the perfect man for me but he was a little older than me so he was done with his whole phase and stuff like that so he was ready to settle down and get married mm-hmm. and i had just got out of a relationship with my child father so it's like free at last for once in my life and i didn't want that so i just left him alone because it's like i don't want to damage you you might can find you a woman how old are you i'm 24 do you regret leaving that i do guy? Well, we didn't. We still talk. We still communicate. We still but be it's cool. Not the same, right? But we will never be like he tried to get back with me now. But I just he's a liar. But anyways, um, I kind of regret it too because you like think you it is hard. Honesty after you left him. What I you think I deserve honesty? No, I'm asking you. Do you think you deserve honesty from him after you left him when he tried to make you the honesty wifey? about what? You said he's a liar. Yeah, he be lying sometimes about stupid shit, but it's uncalled for. But like I'm saying, he was a good man. Like, but I do regret it because like he tried the, to make you his wife, right? Yeah. Okay. And you said no. Yeah. So do you think you deserve honesty after that? Of course. Why wouldn't I? You think I'm going to say no? Of course I deserve honesty, especially if we're still friends. Why are you lying I mean, to I your think friend? I think that's debatable at this point. You think? What do you think? He offered you the biggest thing a man can offer. You declined mm-hmm. it. So I kind of, at that point, he's just going to probably just try to use you for sex or whatever. He's not going to be honest with you. But who said we was having sex and who, you don't even know what he was lying about. You didn't even smash him? <laughs> I mean, Come when that was my man, I was, you know, doing okay, a do. So but yeah. I'm saying, like, so, now we friends. We not fucking. So he so he still wants to get sex. That's why he's lying to you. Who said he was lying to me about anything right now? Quite literally said he's a liar. I'm saying in the relationship, he was a liar. The boy's a liar. That boy's <laughs> a liar. <laughs> he was. Okay. But okay. of course, I still deserve honesty. What do you mean? You think because I left him, I don't deserve honesty? Well, he's not going to. He might not think so. 
Well, that's on him, and that's why I left. Okay. Well, anyway, so <laughs> so you were with him, mm -hmm. and then he wanted to take something more seriously, but you had just got out of a relationship, mm -hmm. and you still talk to him now. Yeah, we're friends. You're friends. Okay. Um, okay, we're friends. I think I know what's going on there. Tell wait, me what wait. you know, because yeah. just because I'm telling you something, don't think you got it all figured out. No, no, so I want to know what you think. No, I mean, that's that's irrelevant. But what I'm trying to say here is that at the end of the day, you're 24, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think you're going to be able to command a man when you're older or now? I will hope to command a man when I'm older. I don't want to be in something. Serious. I'm only 24. But, but I have a life to live. But realistically speaking, do you think you're going to be more attractive now or down the road? And down you have a road. kid too. Keep that in mind. Down the road, for sure. Because like right now, do do it. do you think I'm trying to live for a man and find a good man at 24 i'm not so like down the road you know when i'm a little older and i'm ready to settle down and i'm so done with my down business. the road when you've had sex with more men you've hurt your value uh -huh. you've been yeah, through I more do. dick you've yeah. sucked more dick you've done yeah. more promiscuous things yeah you think that's going to make you more attractive to a man that's going to yes. want to take you seriously yeah because i'm not a low value woman so you know. the answer is no you actually are significantly reducing your value the more people you have sex with and the older and, you become and but do y'all think that, we live for y'all like why do y'all think that we trying to please y'all and we're out here trying to like be holy for a man what is a man to keep nowadays okay well you don't have to keep a man but we know that typically a woman gets the most satisfaction from having a man long term having a family mm -hmm. with that man women typically value relationships more than men do because women are more interested in people men are more interested in things so you can say this now because you're 24 and you still have options. But as you get older, I promise you when you're 34, you're not going to have the same mindset. You're going to wish you had somebody to take you seriously mm -hmm. down the road. And also, we mentioned earlier about the stress and the pressure of being independent and being mm -hmm. alone. And keep in mind, you say you want to live life, but live life to what means. So like... Because hold on, hold on. when, you, ahead, get, when you get older living this whole lifestyle, right? Mm -hmm. You're like, damn, now I want to settle down with a guy, but you can live that lifestyle with the guy and still have fun with your man. So, yeah, I don't want, like, I just want to do what I want to do. That's just That's it. Fine, I'm not trying to get a man. That's fine. That's fine. But just keep in mind, there's a reason why they call it hot girl summer, not hot girl life. Who said a hot girl summer? I'm trying to make money all summer. No, what I mean by that <laughs> and is go to class hot girl summer. And drink my Starbucks. It means it's, it means it's temporary. A uh -huh. girl can't be a hoe forever. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. living that life, living that fast life, et cetera, it's going to come back and burn you at some point. And then here's the problem. When the time, when you're ready to settle down and find a man, the men that you want, they're not going to want you back in return because they're going to be like, yo, this girl's for the streets. Yeah. Well, somebody for everybody out here. Okay. Are I you more think. content with getting a more average man then? I'm, I'm fine with average. As long as I know my man can't figure that shit out and build his stuff up and I can help him build his stuff up, what's wrong with an average man? You just said your man currently. No, now, less, no. Less than you. And you don't of course. fully respect his authority. So yeah. I don't. Because he don't have shit. Of course. He's mm. average. Not even like a penny. So, of course, I'm not respecting him. He's not even trying to build himself. He's not doing shit. So, why would I respect the man who can't build himself? You, you're That's not your trying man. to do nothing. Well, that ain't my man. That's oh, somebody average else. Average means mediocre on some level. Or uh -huh. it means, for example, not doing anything extra, which means most men are making money, making a salary, and they're comfortable mm -hmm. with that, which means they're average. Are you cool with that? I don't know. Ask me in five years. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if any, their standards are going to go up in five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be so? worse. Yes. Well, she also pointed out. Because you're going to get older. You're going to make more money. Mm -hmm. So that means your standards are going to go up alongside that. I don't mind building my man up. That's all I'm going to say in the future. Stop the cap. Bro. You're not that's building the, no that's man, the no biggest man lie that women tell themselves. <laughs> Why? I I'll think I would. No, you won't, bro. Not like no, you if you don't know shit, that's just too much. But Did like, you not just say literally <laughs> ten, 10 minutes ago, oh, the, uh, a, a man that follows his woman is a loser. He, if you're building I say a man he's a up, loser. No. If, a, I if, said, if a woman is building a man up, that by default means she's a leader because she's building him up. Yeah, but and you just said a second ago, you're not attracted care. to that. Can you imagine? Not now, no. It's a hot girl summer. Motivating uh, your man to work for bro. himself. <laughs> You've been contradicting That's yourself. That's crazy. Like, right. when? Bro, only women can say dumb shit and not make sense. No offense. You've been contradicting yourself the past 10 That's minutes. That's fine. You, you, but it, it is what women don't have to make sense, bro. It, it, as long as guys want to put them. They don't have to make sense. I ain't gonna lie. That's why niggas lie, man. Especially yeah. the French Real girls. Shit, bro. bro. That's why niggas lie. Yeah, yeah man. That's why, that's why niggas yeah, the facts. That's why dudes uh, lie all the time. I think they lie because they liars. No. They lie because women can't handle the truth. They can't handle the truth at all. I sure can't. I ain't gonna lie. Call me G. Scott. That's why they lie. Uh, I say exes uh, because no one seems to know 
what the fuck a woman is these days. And I feel pause like I need to specify unequivocally who I'm referring to. In the words of Tony Stark, the best way to describe something is by defining it. Also, Chris is bum. Oh, uh, XX chromosomes? Yeah, yeah. the yeah. female. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Border Patrol. Sorry, Chris was late. We had him for questioning for sneaking in some midgets from Mexico. Wow. Thank you, Fresh, for translating for us. I got you, bro. Appreciate Get that. Get on the way. Uh, camp two times. I'm turn, uh, I turned 23 today. I've been a loyal supporter for over a year, and I love the untold truths y'all spread. Question, ladies, besides sex and intimacy, what is something you give your boyfriend or a close guy friend on his birthday? <laughs> Hey, Cam, man. I'll see you, man. All right, we can ask that. Real quick. That's a good question. So, actually, you know what? Right here. Yeah, I'll start with her. For your man, besides sex and intimacy, what would you give him as a gift? If you had a man. Vegan. If, um, what would I give him? Yeah. I would G- cook. Generally. Cook? I would cook a meal, massages, all but, that stuff. But isn't that something you do every day? Yeah. For your man? Yeah, that would be an everyday thing. So, something special. That was stand special. Up. Yeah. Um, something he always wanted. I don't know. Meat. What? Meat. <laughs> <laughs> I will cook meat. For, for your man? Yeah. On his birthday? Of course. I would cook it every day if he wanted it. Okay. Have, so like, you, no problem you're just going to cook for him for his birthday? I would have no problem cooking meat. That's fine. Interesting. Yeah. What about you? Something I would give him on his birthday mm-hmm. besides cooking, baking, or sex. massages. Yeah, or sex. Massages also. Um I would probably organize his uh work area. What? That yeah, I mean like if he like has office? like an office, yeah, I'd probably organize it so for his birthday. So you're making Yeah, hire... so so it's Hold less on. stressful so on his birthday. Hire a cleaner to do that, do that for him. And it's his birthday. It's not special at all. Yeah, do it every week. What would you really do for your man? It's it's his, it's his birthday. Yeah, it's his birthday, man. I mean, like you said that. Oh, what if? Oh, what if you give him massages every day? It's not special, right? But right. like, I would bake for him and give him massages on his birthday as well. But I probably wouldn't if what? it wasn't his birthday. Yeah, I don't want to wait for it. Oh, it's why I mean, I would cook for him, just not like you give boring. him a massage. Your gifts are terrible. Yeah, so what, are <laughs> what about you, Wee Wee? <laughs> Just the quality time, eh? simple, but it's depends on eh? my boyfriend. So just time. A quality time, yes. No, it's a price. What the? Okay. <laughs> what about you? I've bought him fancy grills before because he likes the grill. Um, mm-hmm. Sometimes I've done a vacation mm-hmm. to where you know, in my case, getting away from the kids. But even before we had kids, you know. I try to figure out what he liked. Um, just do all his favorite things a little more than usual because whips depends on. <laughs> I, we're not going to go down what he likes. <laughs> it's a whole different conversation. But <laughs> things he likes. No, no, but I like, I like what you said. You said, that's for example, you you do things that he actually likes. So that that's yeah, that's a good yeah. Answer. I try to figure tra- out what he travel. likes. And I always try to support him. I always try to make sure he's taken care of. Got it. In the ways he needs. Okay, that's fair. And he takes care of me. Butt plugs. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Not whoa. mine. No, I, have, I definitely have a masculine man. That, that was Chris. Okay, what about you? I would take him shopping and like out to dinner. Shopping? Yeah, whatever like he wants. Isn't that a girl thing? Like he wants to go shopping and like get clothes or like a, a watch. Okay, so you're taking shopping and dinner. Yeah. Okay. Keep in mind, bro, that every dude that she's been with, she makes more money than them. That yeah. is a very good fact as well. Yeah. I like right? to spoil them. You make you make you made more money than every guy you've been with, right? I mean, I've been only in like two serious relationships, but like my second one is when I started making money. Yeah. Yeah. That's the guy that she wanted to be on social media and shit. Yeah. There you go. I remember now. Yes. Ah. Yeah. yeah, just a good uh, weekend uh, no. with a good dinner. <laughs> just that. Just a good weekend with dinner. <laughs> yeah, a good <laughs> with the hotel, with the hotel, or, hotel. Uh, hotel. vacation, uh, travel, a, travel, vacation. Hotel. You're gonna small, pay for it. A small travel. You're yes. gonna pay for it. Yes. 
Okay. Okay. Wee oui, wee. Oui. I like that. <laughs> what about you, Mister? Just... Um, for me, since I am an artist, I will do. I will try to do something that's more creative and more have meaning. So I will try to, and I always wanted to do this, but I don't have a man. I will try to surprise. What the hell, man? Why you say it like that? <laughs> I know. I, okay, it's but it's oh, because man. I'll be thinking of this. She, care, she don't care either. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna find a guy when I'm ready. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm, I'm just not. Like searching, I'm just like letting it flow. You need to be searching, okay. man. Yeah, I do. Too. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Right, right. God speak. You know. Yeah, anyway, yeah. back to the question. Yeah. Once a chick is like, <laughs> if you're 24 and you don't have a dude, like you should be fucking panicking. No, you should. Like I, honestly, uh, I don't think I am. Like you should panicking. be panicking. I'm 24. Because it only goes downhill from there. <laughs> like yo, like I don't think women get it. Like yo, as you get older, your value goes down. You're not able to compete Pasagami. with a girl that's 21, 19. 18. That's my but worst I'm not, I wouldn't want to Bruh. compete with nobody around that age. And so, but back, back to back to my class. Yo, life is a competition. The man that you want, all right, is going to pick a girl that's younger and better than you if given the option. My life is not a competition. Man, do you my want a man? God. Do you want a man? Yeah. Then you must compete. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're right. You're right. Because that's why I'm in the gym six, seven Hold days on. a week. I ain't going to lie. Hold on. Hold on. This is crazy, man. What are you wearing today? Um, well, this right here. Where'd you buy it from? I don't fucking remember. Don't fucking no, no, remember. the chain you bought. Where'd you buy it from? Um, I bought it from this um what black kind of owned build? business um on Instagram actually. The point is right. Mm-hmm. There's only a certain <laughs> number of those chains and those clothes. If you're not there to wake up in the morning and buy it, you can't buy it. Same thing with a man. They come and go. Mm-hmm. However, at the same time, those quality men that you actually want, when they find you and they want to take care of you, they want to be with you. If you're not ready for that man, she'll take him. She'll take him. So it's competition. However you look at it, it's competition. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're, Yo, right, you're right, you're right. What do you think is more common? Beautiful women or attractive men? What's more common? Yeah, what's beautiful more common? Women. Uh, women. Women. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful women. Yeah, cause... Right? So I'm all, a, mu- a majority of you guys are single probably on, like because there's not enough guys to go around that you find attractive, correct? So if there's less of these men... Like, wouldn't it make sense that you have to compete for him? Of course, mm-hmm. of course. Maybe it's why women yes. tell each other that they should live their best life in their twenties because they eliminate competition that way. Mm. Well, yeah, give women to, to give each other terrible advice. That's very true. So, can I have like some some mentoring on how to find a man? We'll we talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. No, you know what? We'll talk about it later. But back it's to just, the... it's just crazy to me though, like how like Be girls supportive. like don't understand like basic math. Like, yo, if there's more beautiful women than attractive men, then that means by default. There's less guys to go around, which means you have to be super competitive to get that guy. That means you, if you want to get that guy, you got to be on his program. He says, yo, do this. Mm-hmm. You say, okay, jump. How high? But women think like, oh, I'm, I, I'm a strong, independent woman. I'm going to do what I want. You know what dudes that have money and status say to girls that say that dumb shit? Fuck you. Like, sex only. Suck my dick. Get out of my house. Like, they're not going to take you seriously. Most men just want a female that will appreciate them. Bro, it's crazy to me, man, how girls like really think they have power. It's like, bro, you once you reach a once you reach a certain level of guy, you have no power anymore. I love when they say he's gonna wait on me. <laughs> no, he ain't. Yeah, I don't no, expect not. that. He'll be no. fucking by tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Man. The hell tonight. No, same day tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Hit up another girl. Forget about your dumbass, and you're thinking like, oh, where's all the good men? It's like, bro, you he came by, gave you a chance. You didn't want to take it. All right, cool. You say some dumb shit like, oh, I know my worth. The fuck out of here, bro. That, that's what Meek Mill said. Yeah, like. Uh-uh, yeah. you childish. <laughs> that's her earrings. Uh, that's her earrings. It curtains. is. You oh, are funny. I'm going to take a picture of that and post it because. Now um, I see it. Now you see it. I can't hear it. Hold on. Wow. You late. Anyway. That's fine. Okay. Go okay. Ahead. Sorry. What was the, okay, the question was what I would do for a man other than sex intimacy on his birthday okay like i was explaining i am an artist so i create with my hands i would want to do something like that so i would try to surprise him with the mural of himself on one of these beautiful miami walls that i've actually painted before so i would do something like that so he can have his actual face and something for him what if he's a minimalist what about you it don't matter i'm an artist (laughs) (laughs) um i would take him on vacation maybe if you, you paid want, for it? Yeah, of course I would. Oh, shit. Um, I'd buy him, you know, maybe, maybe a pair of shoes that he wants to buy. Maybe the next 2K game if it's out. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm using, I'm thinking of a guy's perspective of what a guy would want. Like, and most guys, they either, they either want like a, like a PS5 or like a, like a con, like a game console that, or the, 
next game that they want to buy. Would you date so. a guy that plays video games? I mean, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 if it's something that keeps, no. if it's something that keeps them happy, if it keeps them calm, I'm like, okay, cool. You know, as long as it, if, if he's not like dedicating his time like twenty four seven, then imagine, right? She buys her boyfriend a PlayStation Five. Yeah. Nigga says, "Oh, this shit lit." Then he <laughs> gets that all the time, and not you no know, time anymore. <laughs> you hate that yeah. gift. But, no, uh, not really. I'd be like, "Oh, he's enjoying it. Cool." All right. All so right. you, so you, you get missed on dates, and you don't get taken out, but it's fine. You know, sure. Fair enough. Cool. All right. What about, what about you? you? Um, this is what I always wanted to do. Wait, what? You? For a man on his birthday. Okay. Oh. Um, I seen people put in they man and be like like the other day I seen this woman put her man on there and like happy father's day. I always wanted to do that because I want everybody to see it. But that shit expensive. So you're gonna post him? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Story post? <laughs> Wait, we ain't gonna be doing that. Oh Bro, my god. A story post on his birthday. That's it. That's it? <laughs> no, that's what I always wanted to do. But let me tell you what I did for oh my, my god. <laughs> Last year, well, another last year on his birthday, I the, had the baby t- father. Oh, you said it don't awesome. matter who it was, but <laughs> <laughs> I bought him some Jordans. I bought him. He had needed some like new underwear from Polo and shit. I got him all that. Got I money. took him some Morden Steakhouse. I decorate the hotel with like roses. I bought him a cake because you know he wanted a cake, and I had some lingerie on, and we did the duty. That was it. And then we went to like breakfast the next day. Is this the guy that you're with now, or? My baby daddy. That's what you it's your baby. It is your baby daddy. Okay. No, it's my ex. That's your ex. Okay. What about the baby daddy? Where's he at? Fuck the baby daddy. Where's he at? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Myron. Oh, Myron. I mean, you fucked him. But yeah, I mean, no, you know, he what? don't get shit. But his kids. That's what he getting for his birthday. Fuck yeah. Okay. Damn, Why didn't it work out with him? Cause he was a narcissist. That was the worst relationship of my fucking life. Even though he had two, but like Wait, that nigga was crazy. Like. He used to sit outside my house for three hours, walking back and forth, smoking cigarettes. Like, he was just crazy. I just had And you gave him a kid? And you gave him kids? I gave him two. Wow! You stupid. It's okay because I'm happy I got my kids. Now that part is out the way. Were any of them an accident or were they? No. Okay, so the first one. The first one was not an accident, but the second one was. The second one definitely was an accident, but I love him too. He a great father, though. He just ain't shit nigga. He's a bad partner. Yes. Partner of your life. Yeah. Wait, wait, I'm confused. Yeah, oh wait, God. so he's a good father, but an ancient. How does That's that? That's scary. Because he's a great father. You don't just because you you don't know how to be loyal to a woman doesn't mean you don't don't know how to be loyal to your kids. That's scary. Okay. He, and he's learned over the years. Like he has, he's he's doing much better, and I'm happy that. Can you be that. honest and say this in front of the camera? What the camera? Which one? That most men are not going to be loyal to you. They not. So then, why break? Is he really an ancient father? Nigga? Yeah. What? Your child's father, he's just like every other man. They're gonna, on some level, they gonna cheat. Yeah, so and you can give them in everything that they want and everything that they desire and be everything that they need as a woman. And they still gonna do what the fuck they want to do because so that's just to them. So why break it? Yeah, your baby yeah. daddy then? Because I just didn't want to be with him and deal with his crazy bullshit. He was crazy on top of cheating. Pick one. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so if he was just cheating but wasn't crazy, you'd be okay with it. And, he, and made sure I was okay in the kids. Yeah, I would stay. But you beat my ass. That's too much. You do oh, too much. He put hands on you. Yes, he's crazy. Ooh, like he extremely fucking crazy. Instant no. Wait, oh, did you ever put hands on him though? Yes, you did. Okay, like, towards the yeah. end, once I got tired, yeah. yeah. like, yeah. yeah. you guys yeah, at the end, yes, I wasn't man. finna keep letting him beat my ass. I was picking up vases. If you can't beat him, eat him. Throw some shit at his ass. So that's what the fuck I was doing. Or you can't beat him. Queen. Or are you stupid? Or go queen. Just walk away. Yes, Look, yes. but it's hard to walk away when you in a fucked up situation and people know that. Like, Don't put yourself in a man position, though. Right, like, and at the time I was dating him, <laughs> I was in a fucked up situation. I couldn't go nowhere and he knew that. I didn't have family out here, none of that. So it's like, he was taking advantage of that. But now, that's when I left, when I got on my shit. Yeah, like, that's crazy. Well, at least now you're safe and you sound Amen. a fresh fit. God bless you. Um, I ain't saying no fresh fit. Moving along. God bless. All right. Uh, okay. So uh, we'll go back to the chats real quick. 20 up or? Uh, yeah. For, for, actually, we'll read 50 and up from this point forward. I'll read these that came through, but I'm going to just run through them. Albo uh, Ace goes, a man will sacrifice his life for his family while a woman will sacrifice her family for her feelings. She just said it. <laughs> Dusty what? Stripper Pole. So okay. you want me to keep be- getting my yeah, ass no, beat? No, no, no. It's, it's <laughs> <fine>. <laughs> no, no. Dusty Stripper Pole. It's been a while since I've been used. Get the likes up so I can come out of retirement. Thanks, oh, yeah, Dusty yeah, Stripper Pole. That's true. Yeah, we, it's been a while. Uh, Jay uh, T goes, uh, question for the panel. If your man, the one you wanted, was honest and told you uh, what to improve, about yourself to retain his affection and her loyalty, would you actually change or not? Be coachable. No, bro, they won't. Yes. 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 If that's yes. a good man I want, I yes, will. Yes, daddy. 
If they I want to make, if I wanna make him happy and keep him, if it's a man I want, yeah, but if, if it's I somebody keep, I don't know. If I want to keep them, then of course I would. Yeah. Taha Hagar, uh, ladies, 80% of divorces are started by women. Why is that? Are women too emotional and fickle to make such big decisions that tear up families? How we solve this problem? Should we still allow them to divorce? I have no idea. Fight for your divorced. family, boo. Chemistry. I don't know that one. All right. So ain't nobody left here. Lou Chari, I'm seeing this girl who is meeting my standards. She seems pretty into me and even cooked me uh food after she got the d the question is how early is it possible to check if, off all the boxes as the best man she can get uh bro you got a better girl it for at least time, a, a year bro Stop being, time, bro. Don't, yeah. don't be a fucking simp don't, yeah uh, Corey, man <laughs> god uh time for three countries wfnf always prevailing hey okay. shout out Corey with picture all right so we'll start uh right here name three countries go ahead fast no no wait what'd you say fast no <laughs> you can't even name one i don't want to y'all gonna call me stupid again 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 Y'all call me dumb the first time because I said noodle. Let me say All right, so time. you're going to only make yourself look worse if you can't That's name three fine. countries. Nope. Next. Can you? All right, we're going to stay until you can name three countries. We're going to be sitting there all day. <laughs> well, you have two options. Oh, wait, you wait, can wait, either... Wait, hold on. Don't, don't do uh, your lip gloss. I'm so sorry. My bad. I Thank forgot. You. My lips got crusty. Two countries. Yeah, three countries. No. Please. Look, it's a podcast. Just try your best. Yeah, just try your best. You calling me stupid? I'm saying try your best. Just try. I don't want to. Okay, let me make uh -oh. this. Uh, you gonna tell me you leave? You, what podcast are you on? Fit and fresh, <laughs> fresh and fit. <laughs> whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> How you man on on the podcast? I don't even know y'all. I never seen y'all videos on. It's a big ass sign behind you. In the front. Oh my god. Oh well. There's one right there. There's one another right there. There's one behind okay. you. You got this. Come on. Which one do you live in? <laughs> Go. Come on. No. Oh, she'd be ignorant then. I'm not being ignorant. Yeah, you are. Y'all yeah, are. No, if I said I don't want to do no, it, you're being because you live in what country and you don't want to know, and she's helping you out. That's fine. And you're 24. Yeah. You're being ignorant. Okay. I saw you're single. Who said I was single? You are. Who said I was single? Where's I said is. I said I'm confused. Not single. Ring? All right. I'll let the chat decide this one too. All right, chat. <laughs> yeah. What are they? What are they let's they see. Let's see what they want. All right. Bye, Felicia. Uh, okay. Bye. She out. All right. Cool. She's out, guys. Excuse me. <clears throat> The fuck Zena man? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> she's she's missing work. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. All right. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, no, you're fine. I'll just move this chair out. Uh, uh, leg, another one bites the dust. I do get some. Man. Why is it always? Let me queens, say that. Queens, <laughs> queens, bro, it's queens, always queens. the queens, man. Yeah. Always the queens, bro. And someone called it before the show. That, bro, the fucking queen, incredible. Bro. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. They got it. Fresh. I'm, um, not, I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Embarrassing <laughs> all the black people everywhere, bro. Isn't it uh, yeah. a holiday today? Uh, for, yeah, yeah, exactly. Juneteenth. Well, crazy, exactly. Juneteenth. Bro. Exactly. Embarrassing. Re embarrassing our man. people, man. Represent, man. God damn. All right. Got y'all. Black queens in the building. All right. Uh, what's it? Wait, what, what, oh yeah. Go ahead. Three countries. Colombia, Guyana, and Nigeria. Boom. Oh, Appreciate right. that. Egypt, Argentina, and Spain. Okay. All right. Three countries. Mm. Canada, USA, and um, Italia. Okay. Italy. Mexico, Brazil, and China. Simple. Hmm. Ecuador, Belgium, Germany. Hmm. For you? Egypt, Colombia, and the uh, Italian. Someone said Egypt? Yeah, I said Egypt. All right. One more. Yes. One more. Someone said Egypt. And it. Uh, and it, um, Spanish. I did Spain already. Spain. Um, One more. Uh, you got it. Chile. Okay, Chile. Yeah. All right, cool. Chile. What about you? Switzerland, Iceland, Japan. All right, cool. Papua New Guinea, Georgia, and Sudan. All right. All right. She was excited. Sudan. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, Naturally petty. Goes. Uh, it is June. It is June. Yeah, bro. Down the Mongo. Bro, I'm man. Mental health. Yo, I tr I be trying too. Like, yo, don't fucking like. We I try not them. to kick them out. We give them the rules like three times. We warn them. Be respectful. Don't be annoying. Don't hurt the quiet of the show. And they still fucking do it, bro. You could have guessed that every one. time, man. Because y'all be saying, "Yo, Martin, you just kick out the black girls." That's not true, bro. I've kicked out. We kicked out those two white girls for being yeah. annoying. Yeah. Like, bro, we kick everybody out. But 
Hey man, I'll let the chat pick it, and y'all wanted them gone, so it is what you it is. You guys chose, man. Yeah, y'all, y'all chose. Y'all wanted them the fuck out of here. Yeah, y'all, y'all got them the fuck out of here, man. So, <laughs> boom, book All right, Bumbuka. Roberto Moreno, uh, best show was the recent Valley Tamin episode. Shout out to Patrick Bethe, shout out to him. Yep. Aussie sleeves goes. Thanks for having Chi Chi on the show, guys. Hopefully, she can learn and retain the stuff you talked about today. Oh that's no, the, she got kicked out. That's the one you oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Damn. yeah, she got kicked out, bro. Uh, this was at, earlier. At least two castles. I know I smell the burnt weave. <laughs> Whoa! He called it. Whoa. He called yeah, it. Yeah, because he just came in way before. Way before. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they know, bro. They know. They come in making a fucking fool of themselves, bro. Ladies, chat GPT is better a friend than you. We can never be friends. Call one of your friends and tell them, tell him your DTF. That's an AI chat if y'all did not know what that is. That is true. That is. All right, Tiger 88 goes, ladies, guess the female that's your right body count and her body weight. That's actually funny. Ooh. Okay. So we'll go right here. Me? Start here. Yeah, with you. Uh, actually, no, we'll start here. Guess the girl to your right. Weight and then body count. Be honest. Don't um, cap. How old are you again? Eight, 18. You're 18. 86 pounds? Yes. Yeah, guess her weight and then her body count. And then you're going to guess, uh, you go this way and then you'll get her. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So I would say your weight is probably like one ten. Okay. And now the body count. Body count. Um. Two. Two. Andrew? That's actually pretty accurate. But Stop the cap. <laughs> <laughs> How she paused. Yeah, like, that is pretty <laughs> good, accurate. <laughs> no, because I weigh one fourteen. And... Yeah, you're one. Yeah. yeah, but your body count. Oh, body count. Oh, okay. You're yeah. only body count way off. Though. Yeah. Oh. It's only one He's less. 18. Yeah. <laughs> so, Wait, so, so you got so one body? Over. Yeah. No, no, no I'm just gonna go that way. Right. All right, go ahead now. Three. Okay. <laughs> Lol. All right. What about you? Now you're gonna guess her. Okay. Uh, Weight and body count. Weight. Uh, she needed eight. One oh five. Okay. And body count mm, three. All right. Fantastic. What about you? <laughs> now guess her body count and her weight. Uh oh. Oh. A body count. Uh oh. Is how many, how many people you had sex with? with? How many guys? Fuck. <laughs> How many guys? Yeah. Uh, sexy time. How many guys? <laughs> yeah, how many guys do you think she's had sex with and how much do you think she weighs? You can say it in kilos if you want. Um Okay, the first is uh, how much uh, how much she weighs? How, how much, much how much, how much do weigh? you think? How do you much think do she weighs? Okay, um uh, in kilograms? Yes, kilograms. Kilo is fine. Uh, 16? Okay. What's that true? And that body count? Body count? Uh, I don't know, but 100? Wow. <laughs> she did. Wow. She said give a take. <laughs> yeah, 60 kilos is 132 pounds for the Americans out there. Um, okay, 100 body count. Fantastic. What about you? What do you think her body count is? Okay, so her, we're, not, uh, we're not telling what our actual weight and body count is. No, no, you no. can if you want. You, if you want to clarify, you can. Oh, I'm like 120. Oh, wow. 118 pounds. Wait, 120 pounds? 18? Yeah. 120 pounds. Okay, so she was 12 pounds off. Yeah. Okay, and then anything else you want to, you want to clarify the body count to? Body count higher? Should I give it to you? Probably higher. 30 or less. Stop the cap. 30 or less? Yeah, okay. I really haven't counted, and there's been long yeah, long okay. periods where i it been just with one person. So okay, I mean, I've I've had two <laughs> long term relationships. So all right, uh, what, uh, do you, what do you think her body count is in her one one twenty five? Okay, one twenty. All right, and fifty five. <laughs> Body count 55? I'm only 19. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, she has an OnlyFans, oh, so. Only fans, yeah. uh, I don't have an OnlyFans. You don't have OnlyFans? No. Oh. No, she sings. She oh, Instagram she, she things. She sings on TikTok. Yeah, Wait, yeah TikTok. Like a Snapchat? Huh? Snapchat? It's not OnlyFans. Oh. She's not a sex yes. worker, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, you never had she, a Snapchat before? You just, she, no, but she, isn't it a, pr a premium something? You can huh? like make it a premium. Okay, so you're so so you can body make it a premium. That's Twitter. 15. Body count 15 oh, then. I, I mean, was thinking she was like 24. 15? I don't even have Twitter. She has a nose ring though, you know. Alright, so you think her body count's 15. Okay. Oh, yeah, about that. Okay. Um, 
You could clarify. You, you, if you clarify. want to correct her, go ahead. How much do you really weigh? And if you want, you could give your body count. It's up to you. Period. Okay. She's not confirming or denying. Honey. Well, okay. No, definitely not 15. Okay. <laughs> definitely not. Um, 115, 120. And body account, how old are you? Uh, 22. Six. Deep. Five. <laughs> five guys. Wait, oh, six or five guys or yeah. 65? No, six or five. Oh, okay, six, six or five. Yeah. Not at one time, okay? <laughs> All right. All right. What but about that you? That might be fun. You want to clarify? Was she right? <clears throat> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. How much do you weigh? For air? Oh, okay. And yeah, for her. For me. Let me say. No, 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 no. Uh, no. Mara wants to know if she was Chris. right or not. Was she right? Yes. No. Was she Wait, right was about she you? Right about no, like, you. was she right was about right? your How weight? About you? No, 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 about, about you. you. No, it's, it's, it's about... It's right bro. or no? Ah, it's right. So you have... Five, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> did, have you slept with six to five? Yes. No, oh, 65. No, no, six no. to R5 is right. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> everything <laughs> confirmed. She did everything she said. No, okay. No. Okay. What about, Wait, guess oh, her just, weight and body count? Eh... Wait, uh, 165. I need you need to see these hamstrings in 165. 65. She probably means 65 ki kilos, kilogram. Yeah. That's a big ass, though. That's 143 and pounds. Boys, uh, okay, mm -mm. and then uh, how many guys? Five guys, burgers, uh, what, fries. What old are you? I'm 27. Uh, 50. <laughs> 50 or 15? 50. 50. Five zero. 50. Do oh you say 15 God. or 15? No, no, five zero. 50? Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, All you right. going to take that from her? Go take that from her. All right. So you can go ahead and, ladies, instead of getting in your feelings, you can clarify. And then... I thought she said 15. I was about to say, damn. No, she said 50. So oh, no. go ahead. Well, uh, you can tell us what you really weigh and your number closer to it if you want. Um, last weigh in, I hit 168. I told you. Okay. 168. And right. I don't know my body count. I don't remember. Huh? Yo, All right. <laughs> so maybe she's accurate. Okay. Yo. Now guess it's hers. It's not 50, but it's not. Yo, oh my God. God. So guess hers now. Um, you look about you look about maybe 145 ish, oh, maybe 130 ish. Okay. Um, which one are you gonna settle with? 145 or 130? Um, in between, because I don't know. Your titties are kind of big. <laughs> I mean, no, right. right. But thank uh, you. I mean, they bigger than your butt, so. I touched the mic. Okay. Yo, right. she wrote the net. So nice. What's her body count then? Um, she likes to throw it back. So maybe like, maybe like, maybe like twenty five. All right. How old are you? I'm nineteen. Oh yeah, about twenty five. <laughs> All right, you want to clarify and then guess hers? Um, not the body count, but the weight. Um, last time I checked, it was one thirty. Stop the cow! All right, and then uh, is she way off with the body count then? At twenty five? I'm not gonna confirm. <laughs> not gonna confirm or deny. All right. I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna keep it at that. I'm gonna okay. keep it at that. <clears throat> All right. Uh, now her? No. Yeah. What about her? <laughs> um, I would say. 145. Stop the cap. All right. <laughs> that ass is thick. I know. <laughs> that ass is thick. Okay. And body count. How old are you? I'm 30. 30? Okay. <laughs> she said, damn. <laughs> I, said, I, no. I remember you said the age early, but like, yeah. you're, you look so much younger. Oh, Anyways. Stop uh, the cap. Anyways, um, I would say <laughs> 10. 100? <laughs> I'll say 100. All right. Now, do you want to uh, clarify anything that she might have said? Your chance? I weigh a little more than that. Yeah, okay. Course, yeah, yeah. Little? Yeah. Uh -huh. More? Nice. I was going to say 150, but I didn't want to be mean. So I just That's said. That's not mean. That ass and and you gave titties. a bullshit number with the body count, too, because I noticed that you gulped right after you said it. No, not really. I just I looked at her and just said, okay, I just said, I'll just say 10. I was just saying 10. Sly. <laughs> okay. Do um, you want to clarify anything or no? That's it? It's um. You'll take the ten. I'll take the ten. <laughs> it's probably more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on your head top, man. Yo, yeah, oh, man. Uh, you know what? Let me go around the table on this. Let me ask this for the ladies. What do you think the average body count is of a girl that's twenty-five years old? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Twenty-five years old in America. 
Doesn't have to be you. Just an average 25 year old chick in the United States. You can use your friends as a re- frame of reference. You can use your girlfriends. You can use your cousins. Whatever it is, coworkers. We'll start right here. Okay, average female in America, 25. Yeah. What average do you think her body count body is? Body count is. Yep. And she's 25. Only 25. 25. Yep. Um. 10. 10. All right. Yeah. What about you? What do you think? Uh, maybe 20. All right. 20. 20. The promiscuous ones over 100. And what? the well, I mean, average per- girl. I'm, yeah, I'm going average. Girl. Average. <laughs> By 25, <clears throat> easily 25 to 30. Okay. Is, By the time she's 25? If, yeah. Okay. You? Crazy. I think 12. 12. All right. Uh, 15. Okay. 25. Okay. 20. 20. Now, what do you think the average guy at 25 years old, what do you think his body count is? We'll start here. 12. Okay. Um, If he's a nerd, 10 or oh, 5. <laughs> okay. Know. Uh, 10. So you think less? Yes. Okay. You? 13. One more? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, socially adept, 50 or less. Uh, you said average un- guy. Unsocially average. adept, maybe virginity. Okay. <laughs> you went to two extremes there. I did. That's why I labeled them. Yeah, so average though. <clears throat> Five. All right. What 30. About, you think 30? Yes. Okay. 15. Where are you? Mm, two. two. Two? All right. So most of y'all understand that for a guy, he's probably going to have a lower body count than a yeah. girl. Yes. All right. Interesting. Uh, uh, Chris McCain goes, um, uh, what part of Philly are you from? But ladies, if you could pick three flaws to have in your significant other that they've had no potential to change, what would they be? All right, yeah, he's asking you what part of Philadelphia you're from. I'm from Germantown. Born and raised. <laughs> All right, and then three flaws to having your significant other. We'll come back to that one because uh, that one's going to be a longer one. Mm. Uh, ladies, what's something you need to improve about your personality? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's a good one. Uh, like we can go one. around the table. One thing that you could improve about your personality, we'll start right here and then work our way. Go ahead. Accepting mm. failure. Okay. What about you? Damn, I have to think about that. Um... I really have to think. I got one for you. Accepting reality. <laughs> what about you? Aw. Susceptible. She does all right. What is it? Um, uh, susceptible. Susceptible. In, um... Okay, yours is learn English. What about you? <laughs> Mine too. Yeah. I what? don't know how to say this word. It's, it's stubborn. What? Huh? Stubborn? Stubborn. Stubborn? stubborn? Yeah. You're, you're stubborn? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. What about you? Um, My current journey is to improve my organized my organization, organization and staying with it like i'm amazing at organizing something but my i procrastinate too much okay your consistency isn't there yeah okay what about you competitive you're too competitive yes okay uh consistency okay what about you um, one thing you can improve about your personality my personality yeah um being a little less awkward Oh. Okay. <laughs> what <is> awkward? <laughs> oh, all right. What? what do you mean by awkward? I don't know. Like, a like more social? socially awkward. Because I, oh, a little less socially awkward. I don't know. Well, you're doing a beautiful job oh, tonight. Thank you. Yeah, don't I mean the other girls don't her. fucking more social <laughs> than you. The chicks we kicked off were fucking retarded. Yeah. Um, she's cool. She's right. cool. Yeah, you're straight. She's uh, cool. Mega Deline Grace goes. Today's show is proof that white women age like milk. Happy Juneteenth to my black queens. Oh, <laughs> the fuck, bro? I'm you black, any, y'all. Yeah. And I'm you, black, and black, and I'm black. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have anything you want to say back to Mega Deline Grace? For you, was what was she on the uh, show? I don't know. When they okay, oh, so yeah, they sour. She yeah, she's trying to say what white oh. women age like milk. You have anything you want to say back? Yeah, you know what? A lot, a lot of guys enjoy my logic conversation and my ability to have logical conversation. And so I've, like, I've, so think, I don't know. Think off it's logic. pretty, yeah. Think off logic. All right. Muscle, All right. I, okay. Black if I had to crack. improve something else about myself, it'd be able to come up with quick and witty responses. Thank you. Let me think about it, man. I'll come back with something amazing. Shout to the office. I mean, yeah. right. you also digress from the conversation points a lot, yeah. but that's fine. Sorry. Anthony. Uh, You're right. Anthony 50. Uh, <clears throat> hey, Myron Fresh and the team, thanks for the value in helping me improve my life. Can you bring the uh, segment back where one of the girls calls their male friend live on air and asks them if they are DTF? 
That's I mean, funny. Yeah, yeah but down I mean, to down fuck. To fuck. Do, you, do you guys have, do, do you guys think men and women could be platonic friends? No. Anybody here? No. Because so? if they had a chance, they would stick they and yo, mm, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Facts. Nobody mm-hmm. thinks that you can be. Huh? I think some men can be having, I think mm-hmm. some men can have platonic relationships, but if there is probably always a little something there, I, I don't know. It's okay. your skirt rose. So, no. But in general, you think I, heterosexual men can have platonic generally... relationships with females? No. 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 In general? No. All right. Uh, no, they always want to. Yeah. It's an I mean, thing. I, I think there's a reason for that. I mean, if I'm going to be all the way 1,000, women are fairly useless as friends. If we're going to be honest. Well, well, there's not much utility women provide men that you can't get from a dude. Exactly. Well, you guys think like you're going to be more, you're going to be better at supporting each other in the way a man needs. Yeah. So, yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, I mean, think about it from a perspective, right? If from a girlfriend perspective, a lot of women don't add value. What do you think she's going to give you from <laughs> exactly. a female friend perspective? Well, that's so real. I get it. And you no, guys I even agree. admitted that earlier that like women now have higher demands but bring less to the table. That's your fucking girlfriend. Why so I... imagine a female friend. Ooh, that's... Yeah. No, yeah. He's talking. No, he's it... not... That's some real shit. Just being right. honest. Yeah. Like, no, he's right. right. You're right. Because if, if you're a guy, right, and you're platonic friends with a girl, she's still going to expect you to like provide some masculine energy, give her advice. Mm-hmm. Take her out every now and then, pay probably pay the bill. Yeah. yeah. Right? Pay the majority. She might pay 30% of the time. You still expect to pay 70% of the time. Mm-hmm. She's still gonna look to you for like that boyfriend energy, but you don't get no sex. So you give her everything that she wants in a man, the companionship, everything, but you don't get nothing back in return. And God forbid things pop off, you're liable. Yeah, she's expecting you to protect you and she won't even suck your dick. Fuck out of here, bro. That's crazy. That's, that's an L. I, I, we tell guys personally, don't ever be platonic friends with a girl. It's a big L. It's a, it's a W for her. Right, that's why so many girls keep guys in the friend zone because it's a big W. You get the attention and validation, but for a guy, bro, what the fuck benefit do I get? Exactly. Oh, I can help you get bitches, bro. <laughs> like most girls don't even know what it takes to be attractive to get another girl at all. Like they might say, "Oh, she's not feeling you," but a guy can teach you that shit. So it's feeling anyway. You. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Doctor Evil. Uh, all right, thank you, Doctor Evil, ten for ten subs. YouTube memberships. I appreciate that, uh, Mister Entrepreneur. What noodle? Oh, uh, for the <laughs> chip, for wow. The Quick. He goes, ladies, if you don't need a man, then tell me the difference between a flathead and a Phillips head. Um, Phillips, do you know? Oh, they both have different. They both look different. I just know one is like a plus sign, then one's like a minus sign. If I'm not mistaken. All right, we're you're gonna correct, yeah. Mr. Entrepreneur. Official rating starting next to fresh. Two, four, three. Okay, so he's going. He's rating you guys from one to ten. Oh no, this old though because yeah, yeah I was a four. Oh, fuck. I was okay. a four. All right, so we'll go with all right two. Four, three. three for the retard. Oh wait, he's going fresh. Four for okay, you. Around fresh. Four for you. Oh, so I'm a two, three. Four for you. Basically, uh, the girl next to you. Was... Yeah, the girl next to me. He gave her a three. Yeah. So and he gave you a three too. Uh-huh. All right, fair enough. And two, then and, and then, then a two. Wasn't it somebody? No. Wait. No. Oh I'm shit! I'm a two. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Call me now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. And then here we go, Mr. Entrepreneur again. Damn, y'all brought out this Creole. Call me now for the 19th. Call me I'm now. just saying, my baby. Call, Call me, me now. now. Oh, okay. Call me. Uh, we got here. The, the twins talk like fresh and uh, Chris and fresh when they try to read. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that is not true. Yeah. Worse, man. Hey, oh, man. She, nah, she, he did not. You know, he kind of right, though, man. No, that is not man. true. Fresh could have read the announcements earlier. Like, no, Chris, nobody I'll let you do it, bro. bro. I'll let you do it. Come on, man. Uh, you guess, man. Uh, Third down, uh, third girl down from Myron. Can you please say Jack Sparrow? Jack Sparrow. Oh shit! <laughs> I can't even say it right. All right, fresh. You, you got this. Mark Matfield says, "FNF, you should let the twins use their phones to open their translator apps. I think they're having trouble understanding and answering all of the questions." No, they're nah. good. Uh, they're, they're good. good. They're good. Uh, Ram says, "Ah, uh, Montreal. I went to McGill. French girls provide a sexy accent and kinky cardio. LOL." <laughs> Is that true? What? I don't understand. Kiki Kalio. Never mind. Um, Mr. Entrepreneur. Montreal does have oh, some amazing Kiki He sounds open up flea market. Pirate, you don't He's so childish, but he been shouting me out. So, Entrepreneur, I love you too, boo. Oh, Palaka. Uh, window li- liquor. Oh, my God. <laughs> Myron, what's the difference between Iron Man and Iron Woman? One is a superhero and one is a command. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. my goodness. <laughs> wow. What the fuck, bro? Uh, John C. For the French lady, please say... Dede for the boys there. Huh? What, 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 is what? That? what did I say? 
So it's just to say Dede for the boy is there. What is Dede? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to Google that? Translate? They messed yeah, it up. They really uh, messed it up. I me. have no idea. That uh, that one went over my head. Uh, Call Me G Scott says, The wifey standard has never changed. It's the XX that's changed, which is X chromosomes. If fish literally jump out the water and you told you they like shrimp and crabs, XX chromosomes would say, Hell no, you better enjoy those worms. Then complain that they can't find any big fish. Facts. Oh, well said. TJ King says, Ladies, do you think that men and women have more or less foresight in today's society 50 years ago? Uh, we kind of covered that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we kind of covered that. Yeah. We kind of covered that. Right, it says, Have the dumbest logic. Uh, he's saying that women have the dumbest logic. Uh, you want oh, to okay. respond to that? No. no. His mother was a woman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> your mama, fuck? nigga. That is true. Uh, your mother was a woman. Eli from Jersey says, more than one Frank Castle will not surprise the chat and myself tonight, Clown World. Then he was, did call uh, that, that was one. earlier. Yeah. He definitely called it. The Elitist <laughs> says, ladies, would you rather catch your man cheating with an escort knowing it's strictly transactional or catch him cheating with a normal woman who he actually... Who he has to actually split spit game to? What one would you more likely get, like to stay with? So escort. For example, the like, escort. Yeah, so escort. escort. The escort. The escort. escort. Why? Wait, so let's all go. Well, on. well, like you said, it's a transactional type of thing. Okay. There's no like actual like commitment where it's Got like, it. oh, like I'm c- continuously seeing you. It's like, oh, like we have a relationship. Like it's just transactional. It's Got just it. business. For you, um, the escort. Escort. Yeah. For you. Don't understand. You know what? Bro. Your man. Right, it's gonna cheat on you, wee oui, wee, oui, with an escort. He pays the money, uh-huh. or a regular girl he has to talk to all the time. A uh, regular girl. Regular girl, you like her better? Yes. Okay. Escort for you, for you. What do you prefer? Escort for sure. Escort. Yeah. Why? Because her, they're like my guy to like just fuck for one night, then like, you know. Okay. Time. One time use. What about you? Escort, because it just means they're trying to get something satiated, and then we're back to my idea that people aren't usually monogamous. Got it. Okay. Escort. Escort. I think women are monogamous if the guy is her guy, but if he's a loser, then she'll do what she wants. Yeah, kind of like the girl before Miss Entrepreneurial. Like the, uh, entrepreneurial. She <laughs> exemplified that perfectly. Like <laughs> she, she has him because he. You know, Provides. kind of fulfills that need. No, he doesn't provide anything, but he gives her that need of like having a boyfriend so she's not alone. Yeah. But at the same time, she wants to go ahead and still have her options so if she can find a better guy than him she and will. leave him. And replace him like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because women don't yeah, want to be hoes long term. They typically want to find a guy that has all everything that they want money, status, height, everything, right? Whatever, depending on what the folks she's looking for. But if he meets all her requirements, she wants to consolidate on that guy. But if that guy's missing something, then she goes in and says, you know what, let me play the field. It's understandable if she's saying that she's confused, but you know, if you're smart enough, you would know. She's that. not confused. She's exact. She's in very. If she, she knows if, exactly if what she she's doing. If she was smart, she would know that she's gotten. She's not getting anything out of it. No. No. She don't care. Well, no, she's she's not confused at all. She knows exactly what she's doing. Yeah. <clears throat> It's just that she wants to do what, what she, she wants to do. The thing is, is if she says exactly what it really is, okay, I'm keeping this guy in the ropes because he's a fucking loser. He doesn't meet all my requirements, but I'm going to go ahead and find another guy that has more money, has more status, is more attractive. She's going to sound like a hoe. So girls say dumb shit like I'm confused, but she knows exactly what she's doing because women can't be honest about how they really mate and how they select for men because it makes them look bad. It sounds terrible. Female nature is very, if you really look at it, like women are very, very cold and very, very, uh, how do I say this? Misogyny. Their mating strategy is kind of fucked up if girls are honest about what they really like in a man. What actually arouses them. It makes them look bad. That's why women aren't honest about what they like. There's a saying that say goes... Say dumb shit. I want a nice guy. Treat me like a queen. The I fuck out here. Little. There's a saying that goes... The streets is cold. Facts. Very cold. But okay. Anyway. Well, women can be way more you... vicious than men. I agree. Yeah, 100%. Well, they have to be. Okay, for you. An escort. Escort. Yeah, because I feel like March. there's less... Of an emotional connection. Okay. And for you? Escort. Yeah. All right. There you have it. Uh, the cat daddy says, holy, she keeps saying symbiotic lady. This is not Spider-Man 3. Silence wrinkles. And man, Myron, you got to give it to Fresh. He sure knows how to translate Riri, plus all the black women left on the panel are tens. We should work hard for them. What he's trolling, <laughs> gotta be trolling. Thank you. Yeah, I think he's uh, yeah, he's trolling. Uh, Carlos Bermuda says, Bro, why does that chick three down from fresh sound like she on a low power power mode? 
Ooh. That's not fresh. That's fresh. Oh, the one that got kicked out. Oh, the one that got kicked. Yeah, okay. Uh, fresh balls. Fresh is a millionaire, 5'11", oh with a 9-inch anteater and drives a Lambo. Uh, Zamin, are you ready to have your walls tear down for three hours? Make the move, big homie. Don't Wait, let me down. Wait, what? Yes, sir. Oh, you have a 9-inch? What? Yes, sir. What? You need to start thinking first. Chill, chill, chill. Chill, chill, chill. Wait, who's fresh? Leave me. That's why he's drinking energy. I ain't never seen that before. That's my dog fresh. Speaking of his, by the way. Who is this nigga, bro? Yes, sir. We are reaching for you. Yeah, speaking of which, guys, go ahead and uh, we, we got a uh, we're working with Gorilla Mind, by the way. Shout out to Derek, more plates, more yep. dates. Uh, uh, we got the uh, we got the uh, Gorilla Mind drink right now. I'm drinking the orange rush version. Yeah. I like this flavor a lot, but they just dropped uh, Tiger's Blood and uh, Lynchy. I think yeah. it's Lynchy. Damn it, I forgot that. In honor of today, we should have watermelon. Can I try it? <gasps> Can we try oh, it? I want to try oh, wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. And, uh, and I had the uh, protein bars, and it's pretty good, too. Yeah. Okay. So, so, yeah, man. So, uh, we're going to put, the, if y'all want uh, Gorilla Mode stuff, go ahead and check it out. We're, uh, the link is below. Just use the code FRESH at, this, at the uh, checkout. And, yeah, y'all are going to be seeing us, you know, drinking their energy drinks and shit. So, shout out to them. I've been drinking their shit for a minute. So, this is amazing, I wanna by the way. I want to try it. So. I love it myself. <laughs> hey, Myron, can I buy one from you? Uh, no, we'll give we'll give you one. We'll, we'll give you one. Yeah, yeah. On the house. Yeah. Uh, this time. This let's time. let's uh, let's continue on. Uh, what yeah. else do we got here? Um, we got, uh, yeah, use code at the at discount, guys. Fresh, uh, fresh at the code. Uh, Rams. Even though fresh don't work out. But uh, I work on now. That, <laughs> Rams. Uh, is it true that a dominatrix doesn't look for a uh, physical climax, but rather enjoys demeaning the man only? That is a. You're touching on a very vast topic. I'm not a demeaning dominatrix. I actually avoid degradation because I'm not good at it. I am a very positive, focused person. I have had friends who have anger issues when I've gotten to know them more that are dominatrices and they love degrading men. I okay. usually send people, I don't know why some men want to be degraded other than their self-worth issues there, mm -hmm. but I send those clients on because that's not my repertoire. I've trained myself for a few comments because it seems to be like a lot of people like to call it a pig or whatever, but it's all learned. Mm -hmm. It's like acting for me. All right. For all the Lovely. weirdos out there. Okay. That want to get degraded. That I guess she's not the one. Yep. No, uh, I'm not. <laughs> uh, Pantro really goes, that. I'm Hispanic and all my homies Mexican. The Mexican girl is capping harder than Biden. Wow. That's How can I be like capping if he doesn't know how I was raised? I mean, you're not well, he, no, no, we're saying in general. He was saying because remember you were saying like, oh, oh yeah, I'm like willing, culture. I, I, I will pay the you because you said you'll pay the yeah. thing, but he's saying like that's not a thing in Mexican culture because women don't pay. Is what he's saying. Yeah. He's saying just because you do it doesn't you're mean unique. it's Mexican culture. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think going back to what you were saying before, saying you were stubborn, I think yeah. that's the, an yeah, example yeah, yeah. right there. Uh, to the girl in the middle saying that her mom was independent and believes she doesn't need a man, the feminist propaganda is spread to Mexico, making women believe they don't need a man. Similar feminist. to here, is I your mom a dependent. feminist? No, she's not. And I meant to say dependent, dependent, In not independent, independent. Wait, so your mom is dependent? Independent. Does she take care? Yeah. Cause, cause she's not with your dad anymore, right? Yeah. So yeah, she's independent. Yeah. So he's saying that feminism has came to Mexico too. That's such, such a sad situation. I can hold you. Recently, I've been seeing a lot of uh, independent yeah. Mexicans they in cross, Miami. Yeah, across the border. But I think the culture still over there is a little bit normal. Yeah, I mean, I always say women. It's a cope when women say they're independent. Most girls don't want to be independent. Let's no, it they don't. They don't aye, want to be aye. It is true. He talking man. some real shit. Girls say they're independent only when they're with a guy that they don't really like like that. But when they're with a man that they actually like, they're gonna shut the fuck up and do what he says. Or single. Or single. Wait, what? Or single like me. <laughs> no, thank God. Listen, you need help. <laughs> I need your help. Yeah. No, we don't. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. no, not your help. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, the man. I call, him, I call him. Uh, uh, Chris, did these come in from before? Yeah. All right, guys. From this point forward, I'm only gonna read fifty and up, but yeah. these came in from before. All right, the man called six goes. Uh, so the girl in white told men to stay single because of the low quality women, but the closest man in her life is a bum that hates on her success. Shouldn't she follow her own advice? Oh, you kicked her off. Yeah, yeah that's the one we done. kicked off before. Uh, yeah, bro, she was contradicting herself. I even called it. Frank Castle, all these 304s, not one of them has a working brain cell left. L. Chris, W. Myron, and Fresh. Yeah, L. Chris, for real. Uh, Sean Don goes, oh. Steve Harvey's story on what happened to him in 2005 is a perfect example of why men should not be government to, uh, governmentally married in the U.S. of A. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Married. Yeah, Don't do it. Um, Fresh's dog. These low-tier three or fours will be lucky to get Panjeet from 7-Eleven. They all threes or got half a brain cell. What the fuck? Goddamn. 
Uh, John. Oh, okay. He's very angry. Anyone person. that gets upset over a man not wanting a high body count, girl, most likely has a high body count. It wouldn't bother you if it didn't apply to you. It doesn't bother me either. The, the, the one, the one, actually. Yeah. I, I, well, the one that got mad was the one right here. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder she definitely why. on her whole face. Yep. Uh, I have a question for the ladies. What do you guys think of Aisha Curry faking off, taking off her wedding ring on national TV for a shirtless man who isn't her husband? Is it disrespectful or just a harmless joke? You know Ooh. what? That's a very good question. Uh, Chris, do me a favor. Okay. Pull up that clip. Right. Um, because I want to, I want the ladies to take a look at it because you guys probably yeah, I have no idea. Exactly. I didn't even so see it. So basically, yeah, Steph Curry, you know Steph Curry, mm-hmm. uh-uh. he's oh, the amazing basketball player. Amazing basketball player. Gets most of his shots, whatever he shoots, for the most part. He's well known throughout the basketball uh, game, the NBA. However, his wife has been shown to multi- be multiple, multiple times basically disrespect her, her husband by, for example, saying <laughs> say certain things or, <laughs> oh, or, come on. or, 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 People know him as a high value man, and her do that is kind of crazy. So when was this? This was like recently on a. Oh, she she was trying oh, to. Yeah. Wasn't she trying to like make sure she still got it like back in the day or something? I heard something about it. She wanted to see if she still she wanted got her it. Options to be open still <sighs> to see what she got still. Girl, you got basically. curry. You are. Yeah, media. <sighs> why, why do we have to keep because there's uh, copyright music in it? Yeah. All right. All right. Let's. Uh, there's not. You guys gonna pull up a version? Oh, yeah. okay. Well, oh. let's pull it up real quick. Are you you guys could have done it from Instagram, not YouTube. Pull it from Instagram because yeah. I know you got. Oh, Twitter will be fine. Yeah, I'll yeah, pull it from Twitter. Should, should be good. Yeah. What I think. All right. Let's run the let's run the totally clip. Totally disrespectful. Yeah. It basically it was like a talk show that she was on, and this isn't the first time that Aisha Curry's done some stupid shit like this. She wanted to post on Instagram like, "Oh, I wish I got more attention." Yeah, like, that's blah, blah, blah. what I that's, like. That's you what already I think don't get attention to. from. That's so stupid. You wrong. You wrong. <laughs> All right, one more second. There you go. She's, literally, she's literally high value from her husband. No, like, she, no, she's not high value. Fucking wrong. Well, she has a winner as a husband. <sighs> exactly. But, that makes but, her high value. But she's an L. But, all right, let's go ahead. Let's run it. So yeah. this is uh, this bullshit. Oh, real. This nigga walks out, no shirt on. Wait, which one is her? I keep forgetting. Oh, yeah, she disrespectful. She do it. Wait, wait, ladies. So this guy walking out, the girls are yelling. <gasps> oh, girl. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Wrong. You from Old Spice, huh? You from the Old oh, the, Spice. That's the bitch from Sister Sister. Uh, All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are you going to be a Tia bitch? Tamara. Yeah. All right. So uh, we'll get the ladies' thoughts on this. What are your ladies' thoughts on this? That's so disrespectful. Barry. What's wrong with her? What's oh. wrong with the honesty? All right. We'll start uh, right here and then work our way around. It's really... I mean, is it just a harmless joke? No, Maybe it's she's just having not. fun? She what do y'all think? She could have thought that it was, you know, like a joke, but like, really, like, it's really disrespectful. Like, you're literally a high value ma- a woman because of your husband. Like, mm-hmm. you have a, you have an image. To, not really, she doesn't have an image to put up, but like, you have to understand, like, you committed to your husband. You can't act that way without, you, like, if you're going to act that way without your husband, then you're just doomed. Like, mm-hmm. come on, like, look at, like, look at, like, like, do you, re- like, do you remember, like, do you realize who's your, like, who your husband is? Like, yeah. What about you? Um, very disrespectful. She could have done a hundred other things to make it seem like she was having fun, like you know. But actually, taking off no, that's that's really stupid in my All right. world. Yeah, okay, in your world. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, sir. What are your thoughts? Yeah. Oh, on the video. Um, can we repeat the question? Oh. Bumbocad. All right, what about you, Miss Mexico? Bumble what are your God. thoughts? It was too much. Like, even though it was a joke, like, that's just disrespectful doing it, like, in TV. In front of, like, everyone, everyone watching you doing it. All right. That's it. Absolutely disrespectful. Fair enough. Uh, your thoughts? Keep... <laughs> no good. <laughs> uh, Maybe... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I think American American things, which is like uh you know not involved them in. No, things. bro, they're from a first world. Like, it's not like they're from a foreign country. Like Canada is a first world country. Like they deal with the same fucking Mont- bullshit that we do. Yeah, but in Montreal, they don't learn English as their first language. No, I understand that, but it's like, oh, god damn it. <sighs> Steph Curry, his wife. Do you know Chris? No, never again, bro. No. Okay, we'll, we'll move on. <laughs> what about you? I think what she did was very shameful and embarrassing. Mm-hmm. Um, I would also like to go back on what you mentioned, how you talked about 
she's a high value woman because her man is Steph Curry, he's very successful. And I don't agree with that. I don't think a man's success really determines whether a woman is high value or not because I've seen some really rich men be with girls that are like cheating on them. But yeah, yeah. that's very shameful. Well, then he's a loser. Yeah. Because he allowed it. Because he's a loser. Yeah. Because like, yeah. I mean, yeah. he allowed if it. Yeah. If, you're, if your girl is cheating on you, then I mean, that's your fault as a man. So that's not that yes. boundary. In a sense, but I think that whether you're with a successful man, I don't think that really determines, you know, your high value. As a female? Yeah. I think a woman's value is 100% determined by the caliber of man she can attract. Because no one really cares about a woman's accomplishments, if we're going to be honest. I mean, would you consider a woman who is, like, having sex with multiple guys while she's married high value? She's a whore. Even though... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I'm saying like a sinful whore. At that. Some mil- these are like millionaires that are with girls and they're like secretly cheating with other guys that are prov- have more like opportunity that's the guy's or fault, whatever. Though. That's the guy's fault for being a pussy, being a wa- like Yeah, but that doesn't make her high value either. Yeah, it's an L on both of their parts. Yeah, so she is not high value even though she's still with him. Well, here's the thing. That's where guys are simps, right? This is this is why it's so important for men to understand their value, but a lot of guys don't. Right. There's a lot of successful guys that are simps. But I think like, yes, a woman can get with a guy because if a girl gets with a guy, right, and he has money, but he's like a fucking sucker. Eh, I mean. It, it, does she really like that man for him? Nine out of ten times she doesn't. She's just doing it because he fulfills the security standpoint. Mm. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. there's a bunch of like rich simps that are with chicks that are hot, but the girl doesn't really respect them. She just tolerates his ass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um. But yeah, so, okay, so you think um, in this case, disrespectful or just to finish your point, sorry? Disrespectful. All right. Very, what about you? Good for you. Oh, it's disrespectful, yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Profound. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know who I blame on this, though? Steph, Steph. Curry. Yeah. I blame Steph Curry because he should have checked this shit from before when she was doing that dumb shit on Instagram. Mm-hmm. He should have he mm-hmm. got rid of her at that point. Because the thing is, your woman a lot of times is like a, a mirror image of you. So, like, if your girl's, you know, craving attention and doing all this extra shit, a lot of times that says that you're not that fucking guy a lot of times. Or you're just a pussy and you don't put boundaries on her. And Aisha Curry feels really comfortable to be doing the stupid shit that she's doing. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, is that a girl like her, she should be happy to even have a guy on that level. He should have been fucking got rid of her. Fact. I mean, like, honestly, speak to her behind the scenes about it. So it does happen again. It happened again because that's crazy. Now, my nah, he you, probably didn't, I don't think he said shit to her. Behind I was about to say, no. he probably didn't do it. But. That's, that's on him because she should be moving like she has a like when a woman is with a man that she truly loves and admires respects she moves like the fear of god in her if it, it doing doing anything stupid Fact. like oh my god will leave me if i do some stupid shit blah 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 but a lot of girls don't respect their man or they don't give a fuck and so, if by chance she made one mistake so you know what all right this will make me lose my man i won't do it no more bro especially when your guy is like yeah, that best. fucking caliber of guy yeah, yeah. no she crazy because so. if the roles was a reversed oh it would have been hell Mm-mm. Well, I mean, if 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 he did it, I don't think Wait, it would be uh, that big a deal. Uh, twin, I mean, believing? but she would have been very. Yeah, with twin L. Yeah, she yeah, yeah been they're, they're they're out. Oh well, damn! They just walked out. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that's four. Let's, let's that's four. four. That's four L's right there. And, and she didn't even right, notice. Chat. Yeah. I forgot what I was saying. I, I don't think but they. They just stopped. They're. I think we're straining their heads because of all the translations, trying to keep up with it. They got tired. Or they couldn't understand anything. Yeah, they were missing so much of the conversation. My head was starting to hurt. Also. Or you could just say they're just dumb. That was yeah, yeah some point. Whatever, we just yeah. need to go back to yeah. just saying people are dumb. I was dumb. trying. Yeah, just dumb. I was trying. They're not dumb. Yes, yes like, they are. They're it's just hard for them to understand. Some, it's just hard for them to understand. Some questions yeah. they got it, and other questions they're like, "What the fuck?" Like that was me at some point. All right. Language barrier is tough. Yeah, you're dumb to come on English speaking podcasts not okay, knowing the language. Yeah. They may not have realized yeah. what they're getting into. That's dumb. Um. Chris, you got to make sure that you're good, though. No, no, listen. Uh, Chad, I have a team, <laughs> right? They bring the girls on. Here we go. Oh! What happened? What happened? That's Angie's, like, doing something. It wasn't, that, it wasn't that big. It wasn't yeah, that bad. Anyways, oh, was back. Like, Chad, like, long story short, I coordinate is what it is. Uh, Moving forward, I, I want to make sure that there's no girls out here. Uh, If they sound, if they don't know the English language, I'm definitely telling them to leave, all right? So, Chad... Today's the last day it's going to happen. I take accountability for everything. I'm not going to blame anybody in particular on my team. I'm going to handle it moving forward. You won't have these pinballs on the, on the podcast. 
<laughs> oh, no, no, right. no, facts. No. Yeah, I mean, bro, it's it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Man, that's no, no, fucking no, it's, hilarious. It's, it's, Things happen, Chris. No. Still, still a bum, still L, Chris, though. Okay, cool. Hey, I have even yeah. numbers. What? Two, two, and two. What was that? Oh, yeah. He's oh, a yeah. TV. Yeah. Going? It's fine. No, we are, we're, we're live. Let's go. TV's working. Yeah, we're we great. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Whatever. All right. Okay. Uh, where are we at here? Um, Kevin Miller goes, uh, I'm an outnumbered uh, man on this bro, planet. So there isn't someone for everyone. Example, if every adult black man in America married every black woman, there would still be two million unmarried black women. That's true for yeah, every uh, every race. Um, Demar Walker, Charles G. Bro says, "Hey yo, she says she gonna give him two K. She like that BBC. Laugh my ass off. Shout to FNF. Love y'all boys by the way. That Canadian got me crying laughing. She trying so hard. All right, <laughs> who giving two K for BBC? No, um, <laughs> like, oh my God. Canadian Clearwater says, "I believe I will be the perfect young G for an awesome panel dynamic. If that's an idea you like." Okay, can you remember? I'll oh. be in Miami 14th to 17th of July. Panel of a young 18 year old man. No, bro. I'll give a thousand with you. Just give you the best advice, bro. No one gives a fuck what you think unless you've accomplished something, man. That's just the cold hard reality as a man, bro. You're not gonna just get in certain situations. You should watch the podcast that we did earlier with um with Wes Watson. To get around certain individuals, especially as a man, you must prove yourself. Like you, Unfortunately for you, bro, you don't have a vagina like these girls here on the panel that can get in here and talk with us. Like we're having a discussion with them, blah, blah, blah. But the thing that sucks as a man is you got to prove yourself. Like these girls don't have to prove themselves. That's life as a man versus as a woman. But no offense. You can build ladies, you but. can build a skill set, you can build a business, and then come back with some value. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As a man, you have to provide value. As a woman, you you literally just saw it. How many retarded chicks did we just have on the panel that provided no value? Mm -hmm. But that and just literally exemplifies how the world works. Women don't have to provide value and they could be on a panel. Well, guys like us, that's just the world how it goes, bro. Unfortunately, that is. And we cool. had a uh, recently we had literally like four retarded ass bitches on the panel. We literally lost half the panel. Yeah. I know. I was about to say it's one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, there was ten, six. There was There's no left. burden of performance on females. Like this panel literally shows that. No offense, ladies, but women yeah. don't have to pro provide any value to get value back in the world. Yeah, that's just how it is. That's true. We had a young entrepreneur on Casey Hustles. He had to show his receipts, making how much money he made to come on the podcast as well so i think if you have the value of the business you have the skill set then in the future if you do have that and here's the thing too we got between here and rumble we got like twenty thousand y'all watching we had wes watson on do we have twenty thousand watching no nope oh, wow. see so that, tell, that tells you guys like do guys even really care about men don't number one men don't give a fuck about what other guys think unless they accomplish something and even if they do accomplish something still they don't give a fuck a lot of times because hey this is how you make money hey this is how you get in the gym this is how you become a better guy most dudes aren't looking for that. They're looking for mindless entertainment. And the funny fact is, the girls that you actually want will come after you do the work. So it's just literally how they want the girls first before the work. Yeah, man. So just some tough love there, bro. Like, you got to provide value, bro. No one gives a fuck what you think at 18 years old. You know what I mean? That's just the reality. As a woman, sure, they want to fuck. But as a dude, no one gives a shit, bro. Your value is at its lowest at 18. It's just how it is, man. Uh, one fortune cookie says, the man of your dreams... Uh is uh, about to enter your life. The other one says, psych, nigga, you thought. <laughs> Fresh, I want my money back for your st 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 stuttering my thumb. <laughs> oh, okay. Yo, and don't do my fortune cookies, honey. Um, that's funny. Uh, instinctual <laughs> messages. Ladies, in an age where women don't need men and men ain't ish, please show a raise of hands to the ladies that have changed a spare tire amount to the TV, served in the military, and have thanked the men that work in such needed fields. Hashtag gratitude. I absolutely only spare a tire and a TV, yeah. so I'm not oh, yeah. anything else. So I, I, done, I, I never I've said I don't need a man. Jobs. I need a man. I want a man. I come from a beautiful man. Yeah, but you're not acting like you need one. So. I mean, I yeah. mean, we all I'll, I'll fight with what I'm my everyday, my everyday life. I mean, all right. get to know me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, Willow317 <laughs> says Bro, L. Chris, Chris, bring chicks on right. who don't speak English because he, she can, he can barely speak English. Get in a speech class, nigga. <laughs> Damn. Ninja, ninja. Well, ninja. well, Chris, you spoke about it. You're going to correct it. But that being said, rumble, and then let's do a closeout. Uh, yeah. Um, all right, ladies, we could go ahead and get the final thoughts. Um, oh, rumble rants. Okay. No, 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 let's go to rumble. Uh, YouTube, rumble. All right, come on, yeah, come on over to uh, to Rumble, guys. Come on over to Rumble, rumble.com slash fresh and fit for the last part here. And we'll close out the show. Um, come on over, come on over, switch over, guys. Rumble.com slash fresh and fit. Come on over right now. 